Hey guys and welcome to Banners of Ruin. Uh, it's gonna be a stream uh, let's play, so... I, I just fired up the game just to see if it works, and it works. And it's also pretty damn cool, so... Uh, we already know that. And it's kinda like a roguelike... Uh, card... like team-based card battle game, kinda. So, let's go. I like it. I actually managed to lose the tutorial, which is just insane. How could you ever do that? I just go with default. Then I went for another run. Uh, I managed to lose that too, so... It is not for Vimps. <clears throat> That's for sure. I don't think I've ever managed to lose the tutorial in one game. How could you, how could you lose the tutorial? That's just crazy. <clears throat> so basically we have the option uh, between... Uh, well... Three choices here. And uh, we're gonna uh, keep getting three choices. Okay, we can get 250 money. Enter combat. Hmm. I think we might just take the 250 money here. I'm not used to these options. Okay, now we are forced into the tunnel. Uh, this means, yeah, we can't go there. <clears throat> I'm, st I'm still learning, okay? It's gonna be learning experience for all of us. Okay. We have the characters on the left. It's gotta be more of an easy fight. <clears throat> so we have a, a team, and we have... We got Burrows and Rufus Mott as characters. <clears throat> Just a sec. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> and they have different weapons. Uh, one of them has a great sword, and the other one has an axe and a shield. So, and we have they have stamina, uh, they have willpower, they have health and uh, shield. That's kind of like armor. So this is like uh, temporary hit points, and uh, the hit point damage is permanent. Well, at least doesn't uh, doesn't replenish after the fight. <clears throat> So you need to heal your guys up. Healing your guys up is uh, not common. Uh, we can do 8 damage here. And we can see their intentions. They all want to hit the bear. <clears throat> and he's got to deal 2 extra damage here. So one of them will not hit. We also have a no mercy here. But most of all, we're going to guard... And maybe we draw. So, will they not hit? Yeah, evaded. Evaded. So, they managed to miss a great sword uh, just to hit them uh, both. One guard. Let's go for the great sword hit. Mm, a strike and the one guard. Uh, we can kill them both. <coughs> You got some money. And the card. And you gotta be damn careful about the card choices here. Select the target. If the position If the position in front of them is vacant, move them into the into it. I don't like that. Is this too loud? But just my volume. <laughs> Every time you move, gain five uh charge. Uh charge is just uh boosts your next attack. Yeah, I don't think so. Deal five, da deal eight damage. Apply two charge. Good other lie. I think I might just uh, not accept any of these. It might seem like a crazy choice, but <clears throat> I think later. So this is my deck. I have to say I love this game. Uh, in a way, how how it's, how it's I just built because it seems to be pretty simplistic. You know, you just have three choices, and I think the fact that you're not like you don't see all the choices in front of you just makes it better because it, it just introduced a lot of uh hesitation and uh you just said oh my god now i have to you know look through the whole thing just to decide uh my path uh in in some games because like you gotta decide which path you're gonna take uh that's gonna be most beneficial <clears throat> all the way but right now you you can't even care about that so i like that because offering too many choices is just not good. And one out of three, that's perfect. 
obviously we can uh, only go to the city now. Well, we don't have a choice. So equipment service, uh, higher service, and healing service. So this is going to be available in 17 rounds. 17. 17, well, I don't know how would I call this. Uh, we would need to pick 17 cards to get there. Uh, there's nothing... Uh, well, we don't know about these fights. <laughs> we don't know anything more. Strike. Yeah, we have crappy options. They both deal the same damage. We can deal... 12 damage, with momentum, uh, discard the strike, then rush. So, our nest, nest attack uh, deals more damage, but uh, all the attacks were boosted up. <clears throat> so, instead of uh, 3 times 1, it was uh, 3 times 4. And uh, his... Base damage is higher than uh, Roofer's Mutts, so we can just go for a big hit here. It's almost a kill. We can just go for a No Mercy and that's a kill. So we get the money, we get the card. <clears throat> Deal 6 damage if the active character is back rank. Apply 6 uh, shield to the front rank. Okay. Blanking. Uh, I don't know about the flanking strike. That's a good question. This could be a good with uh, big damage dealers. The nature of the game changes uh, significantly later, so uh, that that's the most interesting uh, part for me. Is that it might seem like that mana cost, uh, this is stamina and this is willpower. A willpower doesn't regenerate. Uh, uh, stamina regenerates every round. I might just go for flanking strike here, although I don't like it. I don't like rush. I think I definitely don't like rear guard. <clears throat> if the only opponent in the lane gain 10 damage, I just go for flanking strike here. I think it might be okay, but later it's probably gonna be bad. Now this is the interesting choice. If you go into the elite combat, my how I lost the tutorial is I, I went for the Elite Combat and we lost. I don't know if we can take on the Heavy Patrol, though. We can just hide. So these guys are looking for me. So this is gonna keep popping up for, for three turns. So next turn we're gonna have this option as, uh, again. <clears throat> I think we are forced into this fight. This guy's, this is gonna go up for... Well, we can hide them, maybe we get something. Yeah, we, we, this is gonna be replaced by something else. Can I go for the uh, heavy patrol? The, the thing is, my guys are pretty weak right now. If I could avoid it, I would rather not have the, this fight. So they came back. Elite combat is still... Still uh, very much looking for me. We're just gonna avoid that. That's... You don't know how strong it's gonna be, but... Uh, I, I'm not really feeling like our, our guys are up to the challenge. Of course, later on, we're gonna have more guys. <clears throat> and uh, we will see the upgrades again. So, let's just go with off-duty guards. Okay, let's just... Uh, yeah, we can just go for a regular combat. We can just go for one level up. Pretty nice. That's fine. So we can do flanking strike. Hmm. Okay, we can go for a great sword hit. Uh, we can't use the flanking strike. We don't have enough uh, mana for that. I guess we might just use a uh, round shield here. We're using a shield. 
So this way. Okay. So let's make sure we're not taking permanent damage. <clears throat> and it should be pretty damn obvious from this point on. Take the money! So, deal 6 damage to the entire uh, row. Deal weapon damage and 4 bleed. <clears throat> uh... Okay. I guess sharpened steel is okay. I don't, I don't like it too much. Let's go with sharpened steel. Okay, now they leveled up. <clears throat> and uh, we can also change their inventories, but uh, only when we find the new gear. We can uh, upgrade their stamina or willpower. Uh, we'll get uh, passive traits as well. So, natural selection. If the opponent has more health than the active character, draw a card. If less health, discard a card. So this is just for free. Wait, this is bad. So, what's the point? Well, this is bad. Deal 8 damage to the target and all enemies of the same race? Wow. Game Miasma. Every time you draw a card, apply 1. Poison to a random opponent. Banish. Now, do we want any of these? Same race. Ugh. Oh. I might just make the boring choice here and take none of these. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, based on my second run in this game, uh, that didn't fail. Well, th that did fail too. <clears throat> but that happened after the tutorial. I have to say, all of these suck. If the target opponent has more health than the active character, draw a card. That just basically means you replace this card. I think forfeit is the only uh, choice here. This is... A Every time you draw a card, apply one poison to a random opponent and banish, so we will not get this again. So I will be drawing a lot of cards. I suppose this could be okay in a long round, in a very long fight. <clears throat> but it's still kind of... right? It is pricey though. I'll just go with the Miasma. Just not, not to be boring here. Uh, we gotta go with Stamina. So we will have a uh, free stamina per turn. Uh, this is our armor. He only has one skill. I mean, the thing is, this is not a skill. This is a weapon. He has no skills. He's gonna have his first skill right now. Apply two stacks of overrun. Gain uh, four charge and banish. So we lose this. So it's a free card. Wait. Applying two stacks of... Uh, uh, so I, I, I imagine that this is not applied on us, or it would be a little questionable. A banish is not too bad. A stamina is not... This character removes all stacks of everything. <clears throat> I'm a little bit tempted to go with roar or nothing. Apply two stacks of overarm and gain uh, four charge. It's not great, because, like, 4 charge, but overall could be more valuable. Yeah, I mean, we're gonna deal a little bit more damage. I don't know about this. I'm tempted to go with nothing, but this this has a banish on it, so maybe it's okay. Let's go with Roar. <clears throat> uh, we gotta go with the uh, stamina upgrade. Overzealous guards. Well, this is a combat for sure. This is just investigation. Let's go for the combat. Okay. So the bear is getting hit big time. Can we prevent that? Uh, we can deal 16. Damage. I 
Okay, so let's say we do a cover action here. Uh, we also will discard. Actually, no. It's momentum discard the strike. Right? We're gonna discard the strike. Uh, we're just gonna go for a big. Uh, this is all 10 damage. This is 12 damage right now. Uh, I don't have much of a choice. Oh fuck, I fucked up! Oh, oh my god. I fucked up. I had the perfect plan, but I fucked it up. At least one of them would have died. Now the bear is gonna be in big danger. And uh, healing up is uh, not easy in this game. Okay, the greatsword hit looks good. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, we got a little lucky here. So, let's go for the greatsword swing, unless we can uh, also boost it up. <clears throat> now we can go no mercy. But flanking strike might be better. Now we can only do hatchet of it, uh, Rufus Smart. This is his weapon. Uh, it's only uh, visible based on the icon, but I don't like that too much. I think it would be a little clearer, but it's not too bad. Okay, we got a plan. So, hatchet, no mercy, bam, flanking strike. Oh, it was a kill. <laughs> I did fuck up, though. This is very situational. I don't like that. These all look bad. Wait, deal 6 damage, apply 2 vulnerable and draw 2 cards? Wait, that's pretty good. Drawing 2 cards is really good. Okay. Okay, let's go with setup. That looks good. I like that. <clears throat> Unfortunately, Barrows took a crap ton of damage. Chance to improve. Large crowd. Or just go for combat. <laughs> we can just go for more and more fights. That makes us stronger. Let's keep going for combat. Uh-oh. Okay, two of them are going for the bear. But the main problem with the bear is that we have really crappy armor. We can at most kill one of them. I don't think even that's going to happen. Yeah, that's definitely not going to happen. Okay. He's gonna have one HP. Oh my god. This is bad. And just because I really fucked it up. So we can go for a great sword swing. Oh man. So we definitely have to go for the great sword hit here. No! Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this bear needs to die. And if he can't die, then we would somehow need to not, uh, well, survive. I think putting a guard on him is pretty good. We can also withdraw him and put him in the back, for example. I think we have to do that. So he's gonna withdraw himself. No, no, no. He's gonna guard himself. We can withdraw him. Into the back. He's gonna guard himself. Then we go for a sharpened 
uh, steel attack on the enforcer. Unfortunately, we're gonna get hit as well. <clears throat> Uh, this could be good, once one of them is dead. They are both hitting. The roof is smart, so we can go for a solid footing. Hmm. Not the best. I might not want to go for a draw here. Apply two stacks of vulnerable. Yeah, let's let's try this. Uh, okay, two stacks of vulnerable on him. And we can go for a, a flanking strike. If that is possible. <clears throat> and we can do solid footing into just vanguard. Oh. Oh crap, I should have vanguarded first. Ah, uh, fine. Hey, Belwolf. Even in this game, second window P. <laughs> this guy is, is struggling. Okay, we can, we can kill him though. Gain a card. Apply four what? Four marked? Apply three marked. If there are more than one race on rank, apply... Okay, let's go for a second vent. Second win is okay, but we would need more guys to make second win great. Oh, this is the heal, right? Chance to heal. Select the card, move uh, it to this lane. Uh, plus one to its counter. No, no, no. Let's go for a Blackfoot con contract. Chance to heal. Bear! Heal up, please! Burrows! You gotta heal up, mate. I don't care. Uh, just give it to the bear. Oh, he's healed up uh, by half. Uh, that that helps. A quick round. Heal party by 50%. Oh, that's good. 50% current? Or, yeah, maximum. Okay. Crazy Weasel. Let's go and investigate the crazy weasel. Transform a skill card? I mean, it can hardly get worse. Like, transform a specific skill card? There are some skill cards that are just complete garbage. Maybe transform... Uh, pff, well, I don't know. The momentum? Okay. So this is a uh, weapon damage for two stamina. Elite damage. Let's go for overbearing swing. These choices might not make the most sense right now. Okay, crossroads. But if we get more guys, then they will all have their own stamina. Seems like a tougher fight. Let's just go for uh, an easier fight. I like it that in the. Oh, this is the easier fight? Fuck me. Three twenty-two. Okay, I guess we're killing one of these bunnies. We draw great sword. That's kind of good. Let's go for the great sword swing here. Ah, he's not vulnerable enough. Oh, we we have a uh, the perfect play here. We kill the bunny, and we strike down the other bunny, and uh, we only get hit by the bear. 
Unfortunately, HP damage right away. They need the armor. Okay, flanking strike. Yeah, this is really bad right now. Oh my fucking god. The bear is getting hit. I can flanking strike with the bear. Getting hit for 16, and he has no armor left. Oh, he actually, he can do solid footing. Oh, never mind that. We're good. Okay, we're, we're good. You just need to do a round shield. And to take cover on the bear. He needs to use one. Uh, I guess it, we're gonna do second win here. And we do a solid footing. Just... So we don't get killed. <clears throat> Next up, it's a good question. Flanking strike could be really good. So now the bear is dead. Now winded. We have less stamina. Uh, they're gonna spread their fire. That's good. We only have one uh, stamina. Rush is garbage. Roar. Okay, I have to guard. And uh, we cannot kill it. How much damage would it do? One? Yeah, of course. It's rounded down. I believe in you guys! Okay. So a hatchet is really good to kill that guy. I think I have a play here. So we're gonna go for an overbearing swing on one of the archers. And we just go for a sharpened steel and a hatchet. Take the money! <clears throat> I don't like the flanking strike. But it's... I guess it's better than what I got. It still sucks though. Okay, let's keep picking the flanking strike. What? Please, game. Can I have less combat? I guess I'm gonna level up after this. Too much combat, if you ask me. It's just combat non-stop. Oh my god. Okay, let's double attack. Oh, most of them are hitting uh, Rufus Mott with a shield and uh, better armor. But he's definitely going for the round shield. And let's just uh, spread the love a little bit. Uh, we're gonna go for a sharpened steel. 30 HP, 22 uh, HP. Mm. Yeah. Oh, we can do. Oh. Am I doing it right? It's taking 4 damage. Uh, let's just finish him off. Yeah, I I'd rather kill him. Right now. Then go for a guard. That is more worth it. Uh, they act uh, like first, first the first row acts, then the second row, then the first row. As long as there's one guy on on uh, each row, then uh, they act separately. Oh fuck! One after another. For me, it's not it's not really worth it to kill this uh, militia bowman. 
I don't know if you guys can read that uh, name. It is so fucking tiny. <laughs> Maybe my just eyes suck. But I, I don't think so. I don't think that's the reason here. Let's go for No Mercy. Uh, we're gonna... Unfortunately, suffer some bleeding here. I would rather avoid that. Is there a way? Let's go second wind. Okay, we can do hatchet. Plus vanguard. Uh, we can do guard. Uh, plus strike. So he's not attacking. Are uh, we gonna get hit and lose one stamina? Right, winded. Not a huge deal. Uh, getting hit with 12. That would be only one damage taken. Uh, we can also go for a flanking strike. These are both ideal. With the bear. But I don't think we necessarily have to. Okay, we can do a rush and, and be good. Right? It is it is very close. It was a pretty close fight. Mm, our setup is good. Uh, we can go for a, just a great sword swing. Oh, I fucked up, didn't I? <laughs> we can advance for a roar. in the back. It's still Roar. What? Oh, Roar on him. Messed up. But still no bleed. I just go no mercy. Okay, take the money, gain the card. <clears throat> Deal weapon damage plus 8. Discard a card. I don't like that. Yeah, I don't really want to get winded. So let's go for heavy blow. Move on. And they leveled up again. And now we get the passive. Everyone on this character's rank uh, starts with uh, Von Vigor. Rank is not the best way to describe it. Rank is row. So. Whether this character deals damage, apply one blade. That's, that's better. Whether this character applies status effect to an opponent directly, deal 2 damage for every stack applied. Are we applying status effects? Wait. Directly. So this will not be direct. Let's go for cutthroat. Now, uh, what else we got? So, we're gonna go for, I think, more stamina. Uh, what about the bear? So, we can have a passive here. All uh, bleed applied to this character is converted to poison. Why? Thanks for that. At the start of their turn, if the character has less than 30% vitality, they gain 1 rage. Okay. At the start of their turn, this character gains 8 armor? Really? I mean, that's a lot better. I'll go with that fast. So he's gonna be a lot better uh, tank. Uh, let's go for more stamina. So we can actually take advantage of the draws. Uh, weapon cache. Now that might be interesting. We can buy cards. Now, this is a uh, thief steals money from me. Wow, can't wait for that. Okay, we can go for the weapon cash. We can buy cards, but let, let's just find weapons instead. Okay, wow, bow. Superior heavy armor. We can just look at it. So, we have light armor that starts us off with uh, three, I mean, six armor. Wait, oh, what did I do? That was just a regular medium armor. Now we have a superior heavy armor. What about the bow, though? Uh, 
how does this work? Do they have a short bow? Spawn 2, rapid fire. Deal 5 times 2 damage, then banish. So that's only a 1 times thing. Move to the front rank, deal 8 damage. If unable to move, plus 1 stamina. Spawn, hit, and run. What is hit and run? We can use bows, but I think we definitely want a great sword. Do I want to use instead an expert bow here? So I suppose that would uh, prevent me from using a shield. And this is a one time thing. So, one time in the game, I would get two rapid fire, spawn, hit, and run. I would deal 20 damage for at two points, but only once. I think that seems okay. We can just use Expert Bow. And uh, other than that, we just have to use other abilities. Okay, let's just use the bow. So we made some changes here. We are not using a shield. We're not using a hatchet. We're not using the short bow. We upgraded the armor. Uh, let's just keep going. So we can gain 100 XP, that's a little low. Mentor, modify our deck, that sounds pretty damn good. Duplicate a card in your deck. Okay, let's duplicate a card in our deck. Which is the best card? Deal 6 damage, apply to vulnerable, draw 2 cards. That seems pretty good to me. Also, we got second win. This is draw. It kind of replaces itself. Then we eventually get one card. But this, this is uh, well, we deal pathetic amount of damage, but we also apply vulnerable. I, I, I kind of like setup. I don't think the cards have a quality level in this game, but I do like setup. So let's go with setup. Uh, this is not based on uh, weapon damage, so we can just heavy it with someone who. Uh, has a crappy weapon, or... <laughs> yeah, that's kind of the idea. Uh, one thing that I kind of struggled with, off-duty guards. Okay. I want to go for a fight. Okay. So what do we do? The bow deals 10 damage. The great sword deals uh, 12 damage. Okay, we can set up this bear. Bleed. I don't think I can kill one of them. What I can do is make two of them vulnerable. I can do them no mercy, I suppose. Uh, let's do a great sword. Wow, he's, he's dying. <laughs> That's pretty damn good. Wait, this will kill the top guy? Oh, because he's vulnerable. Alright. I didn't realize vulnerable was so damn good. Okay. One bear. Now let's go for overbearing. Take the money. Take the card. So this deals weapon damage for one point. This sucks. Now oh, weapon damage is pretty good. And for one point. In the back. 
I don't know. <laughs> I mean, coordination is, is kind of worth picking up, I think, at this point. Let's move on. If you go for more fights, uh, yeah, Florence, money, fight, uh, level up. Screw leveling up, go for fights. Fight is the most worth it. Because you get cards, you get level up, and, but of course, there is a risk, uh, risk involved, uh, which is, uh, yeah, fair enough. Set up. So they all hitting the bear. I see. Can I just start with the second vent? Because it seems like I need the second vent for sure. Coordination. Do I double second vent? Because currently the plan is set up. Yeah, we got our second win the game. Strike kind of sucks. Yeah, we can do our three no mercy. This is 20 damage. I think we can one shot the bear with it. Coordination would be also kinda decent. It's not a kill. No, he's bleeding. Yeah, just try to cure the bear. <laughs> Good luck with that. Okay, we can go for an overbearing swing here. Which would hit two of them. Oh, actually, uh, I should have waited. Sharpen steel. Can I just do a setup on the other guy? Okay, so let's do Sharpen Steel. He's going to die. And that's a kill too. Okay, give me the money. Give me the card. This seems bad. <laughs> no, I, I don't want it. Crap cards. I don't want to buy cards. I want to modify my deck. Okay. Wait, I don't care. Duplicate a card in my deck. Okay, let's do that. Heavy blow is good. I kind of like setup. I really like setup. Let's draw two cards. That's pathetic damage. Heavy blow is good. Let's just keep going for more draws. Game one vigor. That's just this just gives me vigor. Okay, let's go for setup. I, I need draws. My second win is okay. Okay, I need setup, right? Alright, let's go for setup. I need draws above all. Well, in this case, we are heading toward the higher service. Now we are at the tavern. This is what I wanted. Now it gets spicy. So, we can buy, guys. I have 1,374 florins, and I could have used this florins in other ways, but I was saving it. I was saving it to buy guys. 
And I was hoping that I'm gonna have the selection. I'm gonna have pre-450 uh, guys. And now it's all ruined. Because one of them is actually level 3. So I can only buy uh, two now. Why? I was... It didn't even matter. I was 126 Florence short of buying three guys. I think that's intentional. They just don't want me to be too OP. So we got this crossbow guy. He actually deals a shit ton of damage. Uh, Mr. Wolf. Deal 8 damage to the target and all enemies of the same race. That's a, a crap ability. He also comes with a bad armor. But he does come with a good... Uh... Wait, this character cannot play cards. Things down by one each turn. So this should be the last attack, I suppose. Okay. It's not completely hopeless. Uh, let's go back. Let's see what we have here. Uh, Mr. Weasel here, who comes with a heavy armor. Uh, that's pretty uh, positive. When this character applies poison directly, double it. Uh, that's pretty bad. Comes with a heavy shield. Next time this character loses vitality from an attack, they gain 20 for every stack of uh, anticipation ticks. This is not great. Gain anticipation and faint. For one turn, the first time your uh, shield is broken, this character rank uh, gains uh, one rage. For the first time, this character's rank, the whole row, this seems good. False opening. Okay, false opening is good. So we're probably gonna take this uh, Trestle Fort, uh, the hammer guy. Uh, he looks good. He also comes with good gear. Let's go back. That shouldn't be underestimated. We got another wolf here. Comes with a club, a round shield, and discard all ruin cards. Draw that many. And comes with a superior medium armor. I have to say I'm not super impressed with what he's coming with. Uh, we're gonna take uh, Trestle Fort higher. And we're also gonna take uh, Shipwright, who comes with a crossbow and persecuted. I'm not a huge fan. I, I suppose the main advantage is that uh, he's coming with a better uh, weapon. <laughs> I mean, seriously, that's the big advantage. This card, all ruin cards, draw that many. Uh, they both suck. <laughs> Well then, let's go with the wolf higher. But now I have a lot more. Keep in mind, I will have access to all that. So previously we had only six, uh, eight stamina. Now we have uh, 15. Uh, let's go enter the hideout. I have a lot of cards. Well, apparently it was a trap. Uh, we might as well use No Mercy. I don't like this card. Flanking Strike is pretty good here. Uh, 13 points. Uh, we gotta use that with someone on the front row. Okay, the damage is kind of spread out. I have some garbage cards. If we can somehow get rid of that, that would be great. I suppose he's the one who needs the guard the most. We're gonna do a flanking strike. And it doesn't matter who's doing the rush. Actually... He could have. He should have done that. I'm taking minor health damage. Okay, set up. Whoever's dealing pathetic amounts of damage, uh, we can just do roar here. Uh, yeah, we have to apply it. Now we can also make him vulnerable. 
deals 10 damage, 6 damage. So we're gonna set up with the Weasel. We can set up again. I don't like Miasma. It seems bad. <laughs> Probably because it's bad. Okay. Uh, we can do a... Uh, well... Yeah, second wind is okay here. Then we can just do a greatsword. We can just do Miasma for free, right? Every time I draw a card, we apply a random poison. That seems a little bad. Because that is bad. Yeah, let's do second wind in the back. Yeah, okay, let's go great sword hit. Doesn't work. Oh right! Oh I, I did the wrong thing. Never mind that. I'll be fine. Bring it on beer. I oh, actually hits not as hard. But he tries to hit. Heavy blow. Eh, exquisite sword. Okay, take the money. Take the card. Deal weapon damage if dual wielding, attack twice more. That's interesting. But actually that costs us willpower, so maybe not the best. Gain 6 armor and 1 charge. If the character has any neighbors of the same race, they all gain 12, arm, uh, 12 armor and uh, 5 charge. Okay, that, but that's pretty specific. I don't know. Akimbo seems okay. That twice more. But we would need to be dual wielding that. And we would need to be dual wielding with a weapon that actually deals good single target damage because we're dealing weapon damage. Ah, uh, so that's pretty specific. I'm not sure if I'm comfortable picking that right now. Actually, it wouldn't even work right now. Akimbo does seem okay. Also, we wouldn't even have a willpower for it, so I'm just gonna not accept it. Currently, it would uh, more likely to sabotage me. Superior heavy armor? The sound of that. We're using that already. You just have a regular heavy armor. What about you? Superior light armor. He does use a bow from the back. This seems decent. That's uh, a good find, sure. Let's move on. Heal the party 100%. Uh, I don't know. I level up one character. Gain a shit ton of money. Let's gain a shit ton of money. I don't think leveling up one character specifically is gonna 
make or break the game. Equipment service. I, I want guys. I, I want to get six guys. Okay, we can just do a roar here. Overbearing swing. Okay, we can do a setup here. What else we have? Okay, we can we can heavy blow. Flanking strike. This should be a kill. Yeah, that's fine. Might as well do the expert bow. Wait, okay, yeah. Expert bow here. No, maybe do second vent. Into expert bow. We can uh, set up. We draw can wait. I can be persecuted. But 16 damage. Good use of bleed. He has one shot left. for a flanking strike. Well, that doesn't matter. Yeah, just remove my armor. I don't care. <laughs> mm. I can do sharp and steel. No mercy. Coordination. Oh fuck, I'm throwing it on the used on the bone guy again. Yeah, let's guard. One hit. I don't know about this. So we can gain fifteen armor. For uh, two points. I don't necessarily like that. It's not bad. But it's not amazing either. And then we're gonna gain pacified. I just go back. I'm just gonna not accept it. Didn't I level up? Off duty guards. Crazy Weasel. Chance to offload, what? Chance to offload what? <laughs> Is this just relaxation or what? Hmm, I don't know. It's gonna be one on the side. 
I'm not sure which one. Yeah, transform skill card. One that really sucks. Really, really sucks. Oh. Which one sucks here big time? All of these? Funny enough, the DO6 damage might be might be better than the strike. Rush kinda sucks. Hmm. Hey Ryu Party. Playing a new game. Just just came out. I'm trying to win. <gasps> okay, I, I think I'm just gonna transform one of the strikes. Uh gain anticipation. I don't like that. We can do flurry. Deal weapon damage, apply one uh, overarm if dual wielding two overarms. Okay, that's kinda good. I think flurry is gonna work. Okay, let's go with Flurry. So the Weasel is a pretty good into, uh, event. Angry Mob. Drunken Guards. We get money. Discard all visible combat. Okay, I don't care. Uh, let's go for Drunken Guards. Spawn Drunken Guards. Okay, let's get the Florence. Very Gwent. Feels good, man. <laughs> oh, we can gain, go for money here. Or a combat. Oh, that's a good call. Do I want XP for my guys? V through an easy con easy event. Uh, let's go for a uh, combat here. We, we get money. We got potentially a card. And we get XP. Elder Knight? What the fuck? Okay, we can al already pop for a... Pop a no mercy here. Hmm. What the hell is up with this Elder Knight? <laughs> wow. Sprite passives. Armor upgraded. Mm-hmm. I learned something there. Yeah, we can try to kill the city guard. Actually. I need more cards. Do I do withdraw? Oh, let's not do withdraw. That costs us willpower. Yeah, we can go Miasma. Uh, this is going to be a longer fight, so Miasma might be acceptable. He has nothing else to do anyway. I saw you streaming, Gwent, the other day. What have you been up to lately? Well, as you can tell, I became an assassin. I'm also just learning stuff. <laughs> okay, Miasma, let's do that, I think. Yeah, let's go for Greatsword. Uh, killing one bunny would be nice. Coordination, flanking strike. Yeah. Crossbow. So, we are gonna go for... Uh, a flanking strike on the bunny. Coordination on the bunny. Oh, fuck. I keep using that wrong. I'm not sure I will be streaming Gwent, uh, that's for sure. Uh, I don't know. I might just mix it up more. Do you play Gwent these days? 
Okay, we can make this guy vulnerable. And we keep applying poison. We can go for a false opening. Hmm. Expert bow, I suppose. Yeah, the guy in the back needs to die. Can we make that happen? Not quite there. Well, Ross sucks. He has no armor. Yeah, I'll just go for some armor. I watch it occasionally though. Seems like it is playable again. It's definitely playable. Oh crap, he's gonna hit everybody? Choose an opponent with the most armor and mirrors their armor. Gains a uh, six charge. Okay. But I managed to draw some really garbage cards. This guy is so damn tanky. Does this mean that he's gonna mirror the armor of the 31 guy right now? I suppose, yeah. Why is he so tanky? I don't like the heavy shield. I can just do sharpened steel in the back. Heavy shield. Do one guard here. Okay, fine. You can tank it. Oh my god, 33 damage. It's pretty solid. Is this a boss fight? I don't I don't get it. <laughs> it feels like a boss fight. You make him more vulnerable. Wow oh, man. Yeah, we can go for a sword attack. I think he's dead. Alright. Take the money. What do you got? Oh, okay. I, I think we're gonna take the sharpened steel. Apply weapon damage with the bleed. Yeah, that's good. What animal is the knights? Okay, we leveled up. Finally. Uh, we got Rufus Smart here. Uh, who gained... I think we gotta go for more stamina here, and we get access to another ability. Persecuted sucks, I think. All party members gain one vigor. I don't like that. Discard all ruin cards. Draw that many. I don't have any ruin cards. And this would be 8 damage. This, this is painful. All party members gain one vigor. What's the point in that? That seems bad. That's forfeit. I just ended up having no skill whatsoever. Great level up. Okay, let's go for more stamina. I don't like that. Double the active character's armor. 
Deal weapon damage plus 5. If this breaks the target's defense, deal weapon damage again. Gain 2 winded. What the fuck? 2 winded is big deal! That means we lose... This basically costs 5 stamina, because winded lose, lose 1 stack every, every turn. Mm, why? This... No, this is bad. I mean, I suppose this does something, but it sucks. It sucks. I don't like it. Doubling this character's armor, that doesn't really worth it as much, because he's already the tankiest. If someone is getting hit, it's not gonna be him. Yeah, this character, so we can remove status effects. I think we're gonna forfeit the game. We're not gonna pick a skill. This is the only uh, game where, you know, you level up and you just... What does that stamina do? Stamina is action points, right? Action points. So that's what we use in the deck. So this is stamina. Yellow is stamina. Uh, blue is willpower. Decoy. Move it to this lane. Decoy. We can buy cards. The other was uh, doing nothing. Spawn drunken guards. I mean, that would be at least money, right? Hmm, what? I want to get into combat now. Ah, fuck it. Let's get into combat. Let's just go from combat to combat to even more combat. We're gonna learn. Holy shit, what? They really showed up this time. No mercy sucks. I guess we can do a false opening. What is their race? Okay, you gotta help me out here. We dead? <laughs> we might not be dead. Okay. Do, do the guys in the back have the same race? Because this, like, we got one bear person in the front, two mole persons look the same. They look like twins. And I think they have the same race. They're like weasels. So I think we persecute the weasels in the back. Yeah, they are the, they are the same race. And we can uh, just hit one of these guys. Uh, who needs armor the most? I think we're gonna give it to Rougher Smart. Uh, killing anybody here was obviously out of the question. They really want the bear dead. They really want the bear dead. Looks like an otter. Okay. He's gonna apply a bleed. Gains one vulnerable. I, I would rather not get a uh, vulnerable in my head, if at all possible. So this deals uh, damage to a lane. And, uh, yeah. I mean, we can use the crossbow to kill uh, the city of Ombowman in the back. It's kind of hard to read. Uh, let's do that. At least we will not suffer uh, vulnerable. And I don't think those guys will die anytime soon. So maybe we'll just uh, start working on these... Others in the in the front. Okay, let's make the bear tank here. After this, we're probably gonna pick willpower. I, I'm I'm looking for some draws here. Okay. Yeah, okay, let's do miasma. Now we can start drawing. 
The ones in the front are beavers. <laughs> yeah, let's do second vent. I do. So he has a free attack here. It's gonna take. Does he take more damage? It's gonna be 20 damage. Plus, I don't see if he has vulnerable. It seems like he does not. Uh, we can just do heavy blow. It's gonna be 21. This should take it out, right? So that's a kill. Uh, we, we're gonna do another, uh, setup here. Sharpened. Steel. Yeah, let's start hitting the otter. With weapon damage. And that, well, I probably should have done the vulnerable first. Uh, we can do vanguard. Can we kill him? So this is free damage, but we're also gonna apply the bleed. He's taking 5 bleed damage plus 1 poison. So I think Rush would kill him. Yeah, that's 9 damage he's gonna suffer. And uh, let's just hit some others in the back. I need more investment. What is the lore, Adam? Why are the animals revolting against each other? <laughs> well, you can see that this is the black bear, so he's the evil one. I'm the good bear. I'm also black. That, that, that's just a coincidence here. Uh, they... I, I'm... I'm... Fuck. I, I need a little bit of help with the story. You, you guys might have a... Come on, guys, give me some story here. We're just... Fuck, I have nothing. I'm just going to the tavern, okay? And they just really don't like me. Don't you just ever go, uh, just, just for a stroll in town, and people just attack you? It's exactly like that. Okay. Let's kill one of the Billmans. Uh-oh. Okay, it's not too bad. It was a cleave. Second wind. Let's do sharpen steel. He's vulnerable. Do rapid fire. Nine damage. Okay, he's definitely dead. Now uh, we can flanking strike the other guy. Actually. Let's flanking strike the bear. Then we can also coordination. So this bear is going to die. Oh fuck, I messed up. Let's do a heavy shield. I guess the others were racists. That's a good enough reason. They just don't like me. For no reason whatsoever. Okay, well... That poison is sticking on them, so it's not the worst. What? You really don't have any damage right now. 12 damage, but it's not gonna kill him. What is he doing? He's gonna defend. Ah, uh, how lame. Yeah, that's all we got. That's why drawing is so important. Overbearing swing. Okay, he's gonna go for a hit. Uh, we can do second wind in the back. Ooh, flanking strike. Uh, 
Right there. Oh, he's gonna die from the poison. No! The poison doesn't take on him. Oh, he's dead. Okay, let's take the money. Deal 5 damage each time you play this card the co uh, in combat. Plus 5 damage if I'm played during uh, cleanup. Damage just reset. So first 5, then 10, then 15. I guess ultimately this becomes a maybe a playable card, but... It, it does suck, though. I don't like it. Let's, let's just not take it. Is there a progression or a story mode in this? Uh, there's definitely progression, but uh, I don't know if there's a story mode. We can modify the deck or get a lot of money. Which one would you guys want? Over encumbered. This kind of implies that I will throw away cards, right? That, that could be good. I, I just throw away some cards. I, I like money though, but I just throw away some cards from the deck if that is indeed what we do. Throw your wares on fire. This card, two skill cards. Forfeit the talent card. Ruin a card, leave. Okay, this card, two skill cards. Okay, which one card, which card suck the most? I don't like Rush. I think No Mercy sucks. Strike sucks for sure. Okay, so I got rid of two strikes. Merchant in trouble. Elite combat. I don't know about that. Let's go for a combat. <laughs> Let's not go for an elite combat. Screw that. I want to be stronger. Um, am I close to a level up? Eh, not, not that, not as much. Okay, let's go for the merchant in trouble. Start a deck cards. Feels weird, man. So we can get two hundred fifty florins, or a choice of uh, three skill cards. I'll just take his money. Ah, oh, let's just go for a combat. I just want to have max uh, guys here. I just have like six guys here, and then we can have a pretty good fight, right? I, I don't love the roar. So the attack for nine. That's, that's like actually the most annoying one, and the one that bleeds me. Maybe I'm just gonna roar on that. Uh, we can do a setup. Yeah, let's go for another setup. Oh, not not the same guy. I kind of messed up it. That one. Okay. Well, he's at least he's going to die. Uh, we can just hit him for uh, with the vanguard, and that's good enough. Overbearing. Mm. Let's go for a heavy blow. Well, I probably should have started with the uh, flurry. It doesn't matter. He died anyway. <clears throat> I don't know. I guess we're gonna find out. Why are we uh, getting attacked? This is just the mystery in this game. You think it's just a uh, lack of uh, any explanation? No, it's it's mystery. We don't know. We have uh, named guys that all have their unique styles. And we're just getting attacked. It does seem like that we are against the law because guards are attacking us. Are we some kind of uh, mercenaries here? Unclear. Go for persecuted. Okay. Uh, 
Um, no. All right, bear. Okay, at least we're not taking too much uh, health damage. So we can uh, flanking strike the bear. Can we kill him? No, but it's close. I want him to have a different weapon. Maybe you like dual wield. Yeah, he's dead. What? He's gonna cleave everybody? Uh, I guess that's fine. Let's do a rush. No! Come on. Expert bow. Alright. So, some money. I'm not exactly sure how much XP. Let's gain a card. So, free poison. That sucks. That kind of sucks. What positions with a party member? That sucks too. Easy. Yeah. But it gets harder. Keep in mind. I played this game two times. So far. Like... I just fired it up just to see if it works. And I lost both times. I lost the tutorial. I don't think I ever lost the tutorial of the game so <laughs> before this game, but I lost the tutorial. Yeah, I guess we're gonna go in the middle. We might go for a bigger fight, right? You left now, but the tutorial was savage. <laughs> I had two guys and I had to beat six. <gasps> well, great sword in the first row is pretty okay. Can I kill something here? Doesn't look like it. Okay. That otter will die next turn. We can do a false opening uh, and do a setup. Okay, I'm not gonna get any new cards, so might as well go for an overbearing swing on these two. He's vulnerable. Sure. Yeah, it's gonna be a. I guess it's kind of like a Slade Aspire. So you just have this. This mission, and uh, at the end, you're gonna have some big, big ass boss fight or something like that. I, I think. <laughs> so, if, if you have to think of this game as, as something, I guess Slay the Spire would be somewhat appropriate. Ooh, the Weasel is getting hit. 
Let's go for a, an armor here. Maybe even move him away. In the back. He still got hit. <gasps> Damn. Okay, let's go for expert bow. So this is dying. This is dying too. Uh, yeah, let's do Miasma. It still makes sense. Okay, the guys in the front have a, a fair bit of armor, so they're gonna be fine. But let's just get a little bit more armor. What? That's a lot of bleed. Eat bleed? That's a lot. Wow. Five poison? That's a lot too. So we can do a setup. Larry. Uh, we are not doing heavy shield right now. Actually, we can. We can do second vent. Can I heavy shield? Oh, I don't have the. Okay, never mind that. I definitely would need to apply the vulnerability on him first. And I need to go for a flanking strike. Then we can do a... Well, yeah. Let's go for a crossbow. Okay, the buildman is not a problem. And we can start working with one of the bears. Uh, the bleed is kind of bullshit. Okay, he's gonna take 9 damage. Uh, let's roar on the bear. Uh, set up. On the bear. Are we just gonna double set up? Uh, that's fine by me. Persecuted. So they're both dead now. I can just do coordination. Oh fuck. I keep messing that up. <gasps> okay. We take the money. Consider the cards. I don't like these. Equipment. Ooh, that's that's interesting. Okay, let's let's try this out. Gain five retali retaliate. If the opponent has no armor, uh apply also bleed. This is a pretty okay main weapon, right? So we can go like this. We still use the exquisite sword, which is decent, but we're using the Falcon as the as the main one. So if you are doing single target damage, it's pretty okay. What about this sword? It's not two-handed, I suppose. It deals four times three damage. So every time it's uh Six damage, attack three times. I like the crossbow. I like the great sword. Do I like the bow? I kind of like the bow. Because we deal 20 damage with this bow. Every time. I like the bow. 
yeah, I think we're gonna keep the bow. And this is 18 damage. Receives damage from an attack, they deal damage equal to the stacks. Gain 5. Okay, so we need to apply this on ourselves with the attack. Then we also gain... Well, but gaining armor is pretty good too. I kind of like the sword. They're both fine. If the opponent has no armor, then we apply bleed. I don't know. They're both fine. Do I do I want someone uh, who has a high single uh, target damage? Because it, it don't really need someone right now to do that. But this is 16 damage. And this could be uh, more if you just get keep getting attacked. It's also a little bit more uh, stamina. I'm not sure if that matters. Hmm. I do like the idea of a Falcon. Okay. I'm just gonna uh, go like this. Yeah. Unfortunately, we can't uh, take uh, the weapons with us. I would love to, though. Uh, let's go in the middle. We are close to leveling up. At least with the uh, ship, right? Uh, level doesn't matter as much, I suppose. The initial levels matter a lot. What the fuck? You can do false opening. Uh, let's do second wind. Mm. Okay, he's out of stamina. We're only going to use a crossbow. Mm, let's do second wind with the bear. Okay, well, we can kill one of the crossbow uh, rabbits. We're definitely doing that. Unfortunately, we cannot do the sword attack. So that is completely out of the question. This is an easy choice. Come on. The bear is actually missing uh, quite a lot of HP because of the bleed he suffered. We managed to join to the garbage guards. I cannot kill any of the otters. Almost the best thing I can hope for is start killing a rabbit. Guard. We need more draws. No! What is this? Oh, okay. What? Okay, so they're gonna come again. I guess I could have uh, read about that. Let's 
Let's make that guy vulnerable. Uh, we can go for an overbearing swing. I do have an extra charge, so this should be good. If I do a rapid fire here, it's not a kill. So we need to go for a Falky on hit. That's a kill. And nothing else is really a kill here. We can keep hitting the vulnerable water. Maybe give a shield on the ship right. He's the vulnerable one here. Oh, that's fine. Uh, we can just do Miasma. I definitely need to draw. So we can just use the vanguard, kill one of the bunnies. We can also heavy blow on the bunny. But we can just use uh, it with the uh, ship right. But that's not good enough. I guess I could have uh, considered that. So damn close though. Oh, I messed up. What am I doing? Let's just stay like this. So he's gonna die from poison. First we gotta kill the otter. Really happening. Okay, a lot of bleed stacks on him. Actually, the sword on on him would have been pretty good. Because he attacks multiple times. Hmm. Maybe for next time. Do any of your followers even play Gwent? Oh yeah. The Gwent fanatics. That game dead since homecoming. It's an okay game. Let's go for overbearing swing. This is a new game, and I say it's pretty damn good. I don't know who leveled up. I, I, it's gotta be the ship right, right? Okay. Uh, let's. Well, okay. Let's get passive. But if this character ruins a card, they gain uh, five. Uh, okay. Uh, at the start of their turn, if this character has any willpower, they gain a card. That's ridiculously good. And that has to be the one we go with. So we're gonna go with Patient. Now, do I go for uh, skill usage? Or I just don't care? I think we're just gonna go for more stamina. The millions of downloads on mobile don't agree. Oh, what? What do we have here? I think we go for XP for everybody. 
chance to upgrade the weapon or modify the talents. Ah, screw that. That doesn't necessarily mean upgrade. Do we want XP? XP seems good because this means two of my guys, three of my guys would level up here. Chance to upgrade the weapon. I don't know. A little bit tempted to try that out. Let's go for a weapon, right? Okay. I mean, 500 XP seemed awesome. How about this? How about this? Lose 500 uh, Florence. An expert bow? What the fuck? I already had an expert bow. Ah, oh, I already had one, and I considered replacing it. I guess this is better. This is uh, 20 damage. Still, still a little weird. Okay, he's gonna use use an expert bow too. Two expert bow users. Nah, I, I well, next time we are picking the XP. That's for sure. I'm not convinced that was a good trade in the first place. Oh shit! Intelligence. Party takes 5 damage, if I don't take the hesitation. I don't want to take 5 damage. Ah, okay. I don't want to buy cards. Chance to upgrade the weapon again. What is this? I don't like this. Buy cards? Maybe buy cards is the way, way to go. I'm, I kind of have okay weapons right now. That sucks. Deal 8 damage, apply a uh, charge to another ally. If active character is in front, rank deal weapon damage in back. Okay, I, I guess coordination is okay. Equal, apply charge equal to the weapon damage and move swap to the front rank. Okay. This is not great. Okay, I'm just gonna take coordination here. I just want enough money to actually buy the characters. Merchant in trouble? Oh yeah, we're gonna go after the merchant in trouble and take his money. I don't care. I want your money. Party takes 10 damage? I don't like that. Chance to upgrade. How could I not take that chance? But well, realistically, what can I do? So I have expert bows. The crossbow is awesome. I don't know. Did I just go for a regular combat? Let's just go for the chance of upgrade. Please. Don't make me regret this. I have to actually pay. Let's let's pay. One S stock? Are you kidding me? Okay, this is always garbage. S stock sucks. Actually, it could be okay with him, who is a cutthroat. This way, the S stock would uh, be like twelve damage. No, it's, it still sucks. It's a sword. I don't get it. Okay, we will stop getting uh, going for weapons. Okay, elite combat. I don't think so. Okay, let's just go to the crossroads. Okay, we can go to the tavern. Hire party members. 
please. I want two guys. I don't care. Just just give me two guys. Okay, we, we can buy two guys. So we got a level 5 bunny who has maneuver. When this character moves or swaps position, both characters gain 15 armor. Uh, play them. This character plays a card. Uh, one uh, poison is applied to a random uh, opponent. That's still bad. He has garbage gear. Attrition. That seems pretty garbage. Deal 9 damage to the target's rank. If the enemy has a bleeding, apply 16 cripple. He's bad! He's so bad! Ah, why is this guy so bad? He also comes with a uh, lackluster armor. Alright, well, let's see the other guys. He comes with a Warhammer, which is nice. Applies uh, two Vulnerable and a two Bleed. On turn 9, double the stacks of, of all poison on, on all opponents. Really? Turn 9? So basically this is just says do nothing. And double his own armor. Okay, well, this selection is the best. Another bunny? Oh my fucking god. He, he has a Warhammer again. He's running around with Miasma. Well, I guess the Miasma is better, right? I suppose I prefer Miasma over Galvanize. Pestilent. And what else we have here? Whenever this character receives damage, the attacker gains one poison. That's bad. I guess Miasma is better. Wait. He comes with a superior heavy armor, and he comes with a heavy armor. I guess that matters. And the fact that he's level 5, does that matter? I guess that matters. He just has more points to do, do stuff with. <laughs> Even if... What he does is completely garbage. So we're gonna hire this bunny. And we're also gonna hire... The bunny with the better armor, but the worst skill. I don't know. Let's hire this bunny. He has a better armor. We also have to consider that this game uh, is not uh, endless. So we can enter the hideout. Apparently I'm like halfway... Uh, to the end, kind of. I, I guess we had one boss fight here. Have you tried Grifflands? I haven't. It looked it looked looks promising. I haven't tried it though. This game just came out. So Enter Elite Combat? Oh okay. I really hope I don't lose my bear. Wait, can I uh, change the order of my guys? Because I think I have uh, the bear on the front row. Uh, and he's a uh, little weak. So we need more draws here. They can double his own armor. Good for you. Oh my god. For some reason, they really want the bear dead. I just need draws. I think, yeah, I think we have someone who's patient in the back. Now that's OP. We're gonna draw six cards. Alright, this is good. I mean, better. Now we can do fast opening. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any draws here. We can do overbearing.
I can't kill anything in the back. This should kill the bear uh, coming next round. Okay. We, we should use coordination in the front, that's for sure. Uh, who has this? The bunny. Okay. So the bear will hit. 12 damage. Actually, we can use the Warhammer guy. That, that would be better. What? It's a lot of uh, shuffling around. Okay, we can do No Mercy. Uh, withdraw. I like the idea of withdrawing uh, Shipwright. If the target has armor, double the damage. Okay. Can do persecution. I don't really like it. But it's fine. We can do 13 damage here. I do want to make a switch. Okay, this this more guy somehow needs to die. Make a switch here. And he's gonna go in with a coordination. What? He's too fat! Picked on the wrong guy! <laughs> now this looks like a proper team now. I only need to get them give them some gear. And maybe make sure that they don't die. Because that bear certainly wants to. Second wind. Uh, we can do a setup. I really hate the footmans in the back. like to kill the bears in the back, but how we will achieve that? I can just do second vent and expert uh, bow. Oh, it's actually not him. Uh, they both have their expert bows ready. Okay, well, we do have a lot of statuses right now, so this should do something. Let's go for the greatsword. Do we have a free swing? We should, right? We don't. Yeah, let's go. Let's do second wind. 20 damage? Oh, 30 damage. Even better. So we're gonna kill both bears. The otter. We can just kill with a rush, right? 
Am I wrong? It should kill him. Uh, we can also go for a setup. Setup on the fatty. A Warhammer. Sure. Apply two vulnerable and two bleed. If the target is already vulnerable, apply two uh, overwhelm. I like that. bear. Okay. Unfortunately, the otter has some armor. Damn. Deal 9 damage to the target's rank. Uh. Okay. I can do Miasma. Not really worth much. If the enemy has bleeding, and uh, they do, we apply cripple. Uh, who does the false opening? Okay, let's do rake. So the otter will die, uh, the bottom otter will need to die as well. So it just gains shield, that doesn't matter. He's not dead yet. Really? Reckless strike? Yeah, let's do a guard. Turn 10, zero cards played, so... I mean, turn 9 is not completely hopeless. So the otter is dead. Should be dead. I do have some draws. Let's go get him. Uh, might as well use the wing mace. Seems like we have enough damage. We don't have to uh, worry about it too much. Let's go for our overbearing hit. Second win, maybe. Hey, QV! Shirt off? Oh, crap. I forgot that this does nothing to the big guy. No shirt off! If I do that, I get banned. Gain a card. Damage 4 to the opponent party? So I guess this everybody. Yeah, I don't think we are taking this. Do you have the team for this? I don't, I don't think so. Let's check out the equipment. Hidden plates? At the turn end, if this character has no armor, they gain 40 armor. But we start with no armor, right? Okay, this sucks. Yeah, superior heavy armor. Yeah, not, not terrible. At the turn end. How good is hidden plates? I think it might be okay. 18. Okay, let's give it to the bunny and see if this works. So it's gonna wear hidden plates. Hopefully it works as I... Uh, yeah. As I think it does. Let's move on.
One character leveled up, but who? Oh. Trestleforth leveled up. He gained one skill, and uh, I can also give him a, a stat point. Draw a card for each status effect on the target opponent. That actually could be good, because status effects are not that hard to get. Double the character's active armor. Now this looks good. Move or swap, position twice. No, we're gonna go for the status effect. And uh, considering that this uh, ability requires willpower, we're gonna go for willpower. Ooh, okay. Heal the party 100%. Only the bear is uh, lacking HP. Level up a character. I don't think that matters as much. Or a thousand florins. Hmm. I don't know. Do we want money? Do we want to level up uh, just one random guy? How much does that really matter? I don't think it matters much. Healing could matter, but it could also be completely wasted. Maybe we're just gonna go for money. At this point, we don't really need money just for hires necessarily. Although, we might... I think, yeah, I mean, we can hire a better guy. Could hire... Necessarily, well, could hire potentially a better guy, but... Uh, just having six six uh, party members is uh, pretty much good enough for now. I don't know. I'm tempted to go with the heal. That's that's the very safe choice. Leveling up a character is like uh, I don't know. It doesn't matter too much. I don't want to die. It seems like I'm nearing the end of the game. But when I have the chance to heal up, okay, I'm just gonna go for the heal. How boring uh, that is. Hire a service, equipment service, healing service. There's a good chance that we're gonna need some health. Okay. These guys look weak. Okay, I'm kinda regretting that I picked up Roar. It's not a good ability. This guy's too fat. Accidentally clicked on, clicked on him again. Ah, uh, sharpened steel. Can we kill the spearman somehow? He's vulnerable and bleeding. And got shot. What? That was a pretty big hit. Oh, he's gonna go for uh, an impale. Can we kill him? Somehow. He's not bleeding, but he should be. Click on the fox. Actually, big mace would be the best. I kind of messed that one up. Uh. Actually, Warhammer is an excellent way to start the fight. Now we can use a Say this cunning. Oh my god. That was good. Mm, okay. 
let's use rapid fire. Unfortunately, Rush is gonna be garbage against the big boy. He does have a lot of statuses as well. He's getting 18 damage, but it doesn't matter. Rush is garbage. Maybe maybe rush with a uh, bleed application. Can we apply bleeds? Yeah, we can. Who has this? Oh, that was garbage. Let's just go for some armor. Okay. He needs to be hit for at least 7 damage. It won't work. Let's bring shields up. Come on, die! Ugh. That tanky boy is obviously going to die. Okay. Still set up. Do another set up. Mm. Let's do Vanguard. Okay, we take the money. We consider the cards. Deal 6 damage. Push the opponent back rank if, the o if uh, occupied. Switch their positions. Apply free marked. Okay. Battering could be okay, I suppose. We just push guys around. I don't care. Let's go back. We can push them to the other row. Oh, okay. Intelligence, 1000 XP? What the fuck? That's a lot of XP. I mean, modifying my deck, this is usually means uh, duplicating a card, which I like, but intelligence with 1000 XP? I mean, that's, that's insane. Not everybody leveled up. Okay, we got a passive here, which is, at the start of this turn, if this character has no allies on their rank row, uh, they gain 15 armor and 1 stamina, and that's no good. Better if this character kills an enemy with an attack, their max vitality is increased by 3, that's not that good. At the start of their turn, if this character has less than 30% vitality, they gain 1 rage. Uh, why? So either... I already lost the game, I gain uh, 50 in armor, or very marginal gain over the course of the game, or just in case he becomes complete garbage and is below 30% vitality, I guess he can become stronger, but not like we can keep him at 30% vitality, so if he's at 30% vitality, I mean, that's pretty low, he's most likely going to die. I think giving him more HP if he kills people, I think that might be better than just hoping for the off chance that he can uh, carry back the game when he's dying. So let's go for Bloodthirsty. That's a good question. Do we need more uh, stamina? Or do I just take will? Let's just take one will here. Uh, let's see the next guy. So, Mr. Bear. 
Uh, we picked up Roar and we just went for a log because that sucked. When if this character forcefully moves an enemy, apply one uh, bleed to the target. That is not really our style. When if this character deals damage, apply one bleed. I mean, we are attacking quite a lot, but it wouldn't matter too much. So we gain one stamina if you have a 75% or higher vitality. Uh, the stamina is not that hard to get. I think we might just take bleed here. Forcefully moves. I'm just gonna take bleed. This makes him better. I guess I can't trade the weapons between my guys. Uh, good question. I'm tempted to just give him more stamina because he is an attacker. He's not really a caster, but he usually has uh, plenty of stamina. So I'm gonna give him some bell. Just to go for some balance. When this character ruins a card. Yeah, we're not doing that. Start of each combat. Uh, start each combat with plus two will. That seems pretty good. Uh, or garbage. Okay, we're gonna be blessed. So, at this point, we might as well go for... Uh, well, the thing is... He's not really a stamina user. I guess he can be. He's patient. Deal damage for each uh, status. Apply uh, the target stacks of poison to each adjacent character. For one turn, whenever the target takes damage, they gain one poison. This is all garbage. Let's go back. Attrition might be okay. Because oftentimes there are enemies... I mean, it's not too hard to get... Uh, to stack some uh, status effects on one target. And attrition is okay. But uh, if you're struggling... I, I mean, the draws are the most important part. But this is good damage, I suppose. I think I'm just gonna give him uh, more will. I mean... More, more stamina. Okay, he's, he's pretty high level. Double the active character's armor. Discard all ruin cards. Draw that many. Or Miasma. Do I care about Miasma? Not really. I think still Miasma could be the most promising. Uh, I'll just go for a stamina. I'm gonna go for like a 3 to 1 ratio. Okay, that's good. This is draw. All part members gain 1 vigor. The old weapon damage plus 2 for every card in your hand. And gain preparation. What the hell? So next turn, we're gonna draw an extra card. And uh, if you have a big hand, then we just deal a crap ton of damage. I like this. But in order to make this work, he would need to have a big weapon, and he does. So, both the Sadie's Cunning and the Arsenal are good. I think Sadie's Cunning is better. Because then we can actually just draw a crap ton of cards. So I think Sadie's Cunning is the one we're gonna go with. Even though I think the other one was excellent as well. That's a good question. Uh, do I go for more willpower here? Because he does have some good abilities. To use. Uh, let's just give him some more willpower. It's a odd choice. Oh, we can go for even more intelligence? Wait, what? Why is he so weak? Trestle Fort? Why do you have, like, zero HP? What did I miss? He has five HP. So I can give my guys 1000 XP again? Really? I mean, that seems good. 
they leveled up again. Maybe my guys were like critically low level. What? We already have a miasma. All party members gain vigor. Deal weapon damage three times. That's good. If he had a weapon. Oh, that would be 30 damage. With my, with my weapon. But this kind of conflicts with our trait. Trait is about attacking as many times as possible. Well, still would be 30 damage, so... Oh, this actually works with our trait. Alright, let's go with Whirlwind, I think. And we're gonna upgrade our will. Oh, restore 12 vitality and remove bleed for each character in your rank. For each character? Just a sec. Oh. What's up with the Miasma again? Each character in my rank. That seems good. I mean, I mean, just get, getting some heals is pretty good, right? Mm. It's still more of an attacker. I don't know. Do I go Miasma? Hope party members gain Vigor. I don't value Vigor that much. I guess we can go for Miasma. That's okay. Uh, let's give him some will. Oh, okay. We got a passive here. Well, he's an attacker, so a Cutthroat is okay. That's bad. Are we gonna go for Cutthroat? Which will make him the best attacker. And in that case, we're gonna give him Stamina. Yeah, he didn't level up. Almost did, though. Uh, we can go for a passive. I would like to see more patient uh, passives. Gain 5 rage whenever an ally dies. Uh, better if this character ruins a the card, they gain 5 charge. But I've never ruined the card. Whenever you draw an additional card, gain 2 charge. Oh, that's actually good. Really? I draw a lot of additional cards. Alright, let's go Ardent. And go for uh, Stamina. If we can go for money... I mean, this seems like the obvious choice. Wait, what? A thousand XP again? Really? I mean, that's better than a random fight. Okay, I'll take the XP. Six characters leveled up again. Okay. Oh shit, patient! Patient, that's what we need. Whatever, uh, yeah, that, that's crap. Okay, Steadfast is good too. At the start of that turn, this character gains, uh, Eight uh, armor. Okay, fine. But patient is is godlike. Um, that's a good question. I guess we can just mix it up. Uh, let's go for some stamina. Like maybe a two to one ratio. At the start of their turn, this character has uh, yeah, the wrathful is garbage. Everyone on this character's rank starts with uh, combat with one vigor. I guess that does something. Where if this character forcefully moves a... Oh, that's crap. I guess we can start with one vigor. Starts combat. I guess that's just first turn. Ah, that's so crap. I don't know. <laughs> Let's do inspiration, I think. Uh, good question. I'm tempted to give him will. 
Uh, let's go for a 2 to 1 ratio. Okay. What we have here. They gain 10. But I'm not moving. He, he does shoot more times. So, if I could just switch the weapons, that would be kind of nice. I guess I can switch the weapons when we... Uh, can I switch the weapons? We'll see. Let's go for that. Is it possible to switch around the weapons? I don't think so. I can't. But it would be nice if I could. Uh huh. That's something I don't like. So we can double his uh, armor. Or all part members gain one vigor. Is it worth picking up Galvanize? I don't like Persecuted. But is Galvanize worth it? I don't know. I think I might just go with more stamina. And he's uh, gonna pick nothing. Worth it. Okay, let's see what we get. Oh, patient. If we get patient, every time it's gonna be patient. Cutthroat. Okay, let's go with patient. Upgrade stamina will. Um, let's go for will. I guess we're gonna reach the maximum at one point. Oh my god. Okay. We see a lot of uh, repeats at this point. Uh, let's go for stamina. Okay, finally. Discard a, a random combat. I don't care about that. Let's go for a random combat. Wait. Can I change their order? Fuck me. I can't even change the guy's order? How do they do that? that that's that gotta be a thing at least, right? Come on. Let, let me do that. Uh, fuck. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I, I can do it. You... Don't go in the front. I think it would work better if they had different colors, purely. Shipwright is gonna be up top. Uh, Cartwright. Uh, you're level 7. Um, you might as well be in the front. He has the shield plus mace. Uh, let's say you will be there. Uh, we got the bear in the front. Although, in order to, for the bear to heal up uh, Trestlefort, the bear would need to be in the back. So we're gonna play it like that, and uh, we have... Uh, no, not Trestlefort. Okay, I just replaced the bear. As I said, it, it, it's a little confusing. So we're gonna have the bear in the back. We have uh, Shipwright uh, left up. We have the bear in the middle, uh, back. We have a trestle fort over here, uh, left bottom. And we have a uh, Rupert and uh, Cartwright and Irving in the front, which should be fine. So uh, at least I can do this. It wasn't obvious that I could, but it, it's obviously a needed feature. All right. The fuck. Yeah, let's do Miasma. Hmm, I don't think we can do much with the guys in the front. Okay. Uh, let's just do a second vent. Is there a way to quickly switch between characters? No. Everything needs to be clicked. Which would work a lot better if uh, the camera was more above them. Because clicking on this guy 
uh, can be a bit tricky. Especially, this this tends to be the trickiest. Because the fatty uh, covers up uh, most of the model. I'll just guard. I need more cards! But I have three patient guys. So, it might be okay. We're gonna apply Miasma. Wait, can I make it cheaper? Oh, no, doesn't really matter. So let's apply Miasma on everybody. The bunny needs to die. Uh, can we just rake in the back? That wouldn't do it, but it's it's a start. I guess might as well go for a double armor. Oh, actually, that does it. Okay, he's gonna die. <sighs> I need to draw cards. be nice to apply it. okay actually I didn't draw all the cards yeah I'll just apply this I'm hitting the card limit okay we need coordination to be used in the front oh that was pretty vulnerable <laughs> A flanking strike, 13. Uh, who has this? Yeah, let's just apply the miasma. Mm. I think we need the, we need all all the shots here. So. Two crossbowmen's in the back will die. Uh, we can just use the rabbit or rat. Yeah, that's fine. Come on, let's go for guard. I need heals! I'm not sure how I get heals, but we need heals. Dressa Fort needs to heal up. The bear has heals. Apparently it can heal for 36 or something. Which is ridiculous. I hope that's true. Wait, what? Is poison actually working? The hell? 
Okay. Um, I guess we can apply poison. I might as well do no mercy. I want to do remove bleed and apply restore 12 vitality and remove wait is it on yourself i really hope you can use it on someone else too oh okay that was 12 heal on uh trust of that, that was still good enough Let's go for a great sword swing. Actually, yeah, that's his ability. Allows us to draw a few more cards. Oh my god, so much. He's gonna die to the poison, right? 22. Okay, I just killed the fox. It shouldn't be that hard, right? What? 47? I guess he's dead now. Right away. Okay. Where's the bow? Okay, maybe this should be used. On the bunny in the back. It's a little annoying that you don't know who has which skill necessarily without just matching the icons. Which is okay, but it could be better. Oh no, that was useless. Okay, I'll just go for a... Uh... A guard, doesn't matter. Okay, poison is serious business. Oh my god, what? He's taking 37 damage from damage over time effect? What? Okay. Takes so long. He's gonna die. He's gonna die from the poison alone. Yeah, I got a full hand. He's gonna take 59 damage. And this this guy is going to take uh 48 damage. Uh, I can still step it up. damage and yeah, I'll just go for coordination ah that's useless What? Okay, fine. The bunny's dead. Okay, give me the bunny and uh, 
I don't care. That sucks. Oh, that, that sucks too. Okay, we're not taking that. Move on! Gatehouse? Uh, what? I guess we're gonna fight with the Hobbiteers. Oh no. They're really gonna hit the middle rain, uh, lane. All of them are aiming for that. not the best. But he didn't play it. Goes up to 40. I couldn't uh, boost him. But they're gonna hit the middle lane by for, for 60, which is just bullshit. I, I think what the attack is supposed to be random. Now they're all... Now they're killing the, the first row. Okay. I messed up. Just give it to the bear. So he does have target is already vulnerable. Which is gonna apply even more vulnerable. Taking six damage from damage over time effects. He's dead. Just go for a guard. Oh my god! Oh, he's super dead. Take the money. I don't think this should be a choice. Like, why would I not want to take the money? So far, I haven't seen a single reason not to take the money. Mm. Battering Ram in these cases would be okay. So we can make two rows and they would attack separately. But I think in most scenarios, it would not help. 
when we are fighting a, a full man team. I might have to make changes. So now I have two guys who are wounded. And I might just replace Cartwright or Shipwright here uh, momentarily. And I rely on the bear to heal them up. But this is dangerous because he's also he's not very tanky. Oh, chance to heal? Oh fuck. Ex in uh, intelligence? That's really good. Either heal one of my guys by 50% or give everybody more XP. How could I turn down the XP? 1000 XP. Can you turn that down? Chance to heal. This would mean level up for everybody. But they don't heal on the level up. I don't want to lose stress of fort. I think I'm gonna get the chance to heal later. Okay, I'll just close this. Would I get a new talent? Are there any good talents to get? I don't know. It seems like I'm closing in on the end of the game. I don't care too much for talents right now. I have... I think I'm just gonna take the heal. I just wanna make sure that it's gonna be a five-man team. I mean, a six-man team. Uh, that's gonna... Okay. Deal with whatever we have to deal with. Uh, later. Still not perfect. I'm thinking uh, this might be too risky. Maybe I should put the bear. Maybe I should put uh, the guys on the first row to the second row. So we got chip right in the back. We also got uh, Rupert Smart. Rupert Smart. Rupert Smart uh, in the back too. And Irving. So they don't need heals. But in a way I'm putting the most vulnerable guys in the front. Eh, fine. But yeah, Shipwright could really get wrecked in the first row. So I don't think that's a good idea to put him there. I have no choice. We have to fight the task force. Okay. Uh, they really showed up here. <laughs> Preparation won't be too useful here. Okay. Oh, that's so bad. Oh, that's so, so bad. Okay. I want to kill these guys. These halberdiers are total bullshit. Who has this? The expert bow. I don't think I'm gonna apply more statuses. This is the best we can do. And he's the one who's gonna use the solid footing. And hopefully, next turn, we're actually gonna have some cards. Yeah, we're taking damage with ship, right?
15 damage. Oh. Six times four. Well, okay then. So we can apply Miasma. Hmm. Definitely want to go for the heels. Oh, and we can only heal one. Oh, never mind. I'm not sure why I I tried to move two guys into the same row. For some reason, I I, I believed that you can just uh, AOE it, but that's not the case. Second vent. We can just mark him. I can do great sword. Yeah, bleed would be pretty nice. So we can do sharpen steel. Maybe we can do second vent. Into sharpen steel. He gets so damn strong with Ardent. Uh, and I want to do... Well, we got to be careful because we draw a bunch of cards. But first of all, I need to be able to hold those cards. So maybe do a flanking strike. I can guard the wolf. Can go for attrition. We can also go for a rush. And now we can go for the draw. Might as well go for the miasma. So much to do in this game. <laughs> really chaining draws here. Deal 9 damage to the entire row. If they are bleeding, it doesn't matter. Hmm. Do I want to hit the back with that? Uh, let's just go for the greatsword swing. Maybe not. So we're just gonna rake the front. And we still have a heavy blow. To consider. Uh, this guy's dying pretty nicely. Maybe we're just gonna do a coordination here. Oh crap, that, that was not worth it. That didn't worth it. He, he would have gained uh, 10 armor. Actually, he should not have a shield. Uh... That's the biggest takeaway here. Can we just swap? Did it work? No, it didn't work. It didn't work. Okay. Heavy blow. Who's vulnerable? Nobody. Yeah, let's go for that. Hope it works out. Not the worst. Wait, does it matter? I don't think it matters uh, where the guy is. Or is it need to be in the same row? I think it needs to be in the same row. So, uh, the guy we're healing. That's a lot of poison. Even he goes for poison. A 
Okay, so the dog is dying. The halberdier, the other halberdier needs to die too. Um, I guess we might as well go for the big maze. He's a good uh, Sadie's cunning target. Galvanize. Mm, he's fine. I don't think we need to use the Galvanize necessarily. Overbearing swing. He has 22 extra charges. That's just stupid. He would be so damn strong <laughs> with a multi-attacking uh, weapon. Can I apply more status effects? I don't think so. I think this is the maximum I will get. Okay, might as well do the draws right now. Let's go set up. Oh, actually, I fucked up. Yeah, let's do a guard, I guess. Lurry. So this guy's super dead due to poison. The other clippers is still uh, just considering dying. Uh, we can do a flurry. Thirty-four. It's the stupidest. So he's got he's gonna do thirteen plus a thirty-four, so like fifty damage coming in here. I don't think I have any more I uh, actually we have more draws. What the hell? Gonna let him use the vanguard. I guess we did now. We might as well go for more draws. Make the guy in the back vulnerable as well. Okay, let's go for one. Oh no! We used too many! Ah, uh, he can't attack now! Fuck. Only one damage. The guys in the front will attack. Okay. Elder and their clipper is still not dead. The the text is just so fucking tiny that it's just really hard to read. They should take it out. Yeah, we can't galvanize. Everybody's dead now. And now the crossbowmen's will also suffer. Stupid amounts of uh, bleed. Well, wow. hey Adam, long time no see. You're not playing Gwent anymore? I played it yesterday. This time we are trying out a new card game that released today. And so far, it's pretty fun. Well, maybe not like necessarily like a... It's kind of like a card battler, I suppose. You just assemble a team. And uh, fight other teams. But yeah, you need to chain a lot of cards. So it, it's 
quite intense. If anything, it might be a little bit too intense. I gotta think so much about my choices. It's unusual. I'm not taking any of that. It's kind of, it's a little bit like a uh, Slate Aspire, if you had a team. Expert bow. He would be pretty good with an s talk because because of his Ardent, whenever you draw an additional card, gain two a uh, charge. So with s talk he would be just ridiculous. Ridiculous. His other cards are not particularly good. For his place now. So now I can... Uh, so, oh yeah, he, he's gonna uh, change... Uh, His weapon, that's for sure. I don't know what. Crossbow will stay. I think here. It's close. Actually, the, the Warhammer is better than the crossbow. Hmm. So, we, this is an upgrade. Now, do I care about damage? I already have a bunch of guys who can deal uh, high damage. A uh, rapid fire is kind of good because we deal uh, 20 damage when we draw into it. Plagued. Hmm. Ardent helps the strategy. Cutthroat. Cutthroat actually makes uh, spawns to rapid fire better, <laughs> but his uh, stamina allocation makes uh, Warhammer really good. We also got a Cutthroat here, so I guess uh, he's really good with the expert blow uh, bow. Oh my god. Unbelievably, the bear, who was using greatsword all along, would be probably better up with the expert bow, which is dumb. <sighs> All right, let's give him the expert bow. Unbelievable. But we definitely need to have uh, high attack weapons too. So maybe he's gonna be using the great sword, and not the wing mace and the round shield. But who's gonna use the crossbow? Yeah, he's definitely using the warhammer. One S stock, one great sword. I, I prefer the great sword here. That's a tough call. I think the S stock is a great choice here. Four times three. Great choice works. Uh, I mean, the uh, great sword works. Super bow. This allows us to attack four times, and with the cutthroat, that's gonna be gonna be even more damage. Okay. This is fine. I I kind of want to take cutthroat, cutthroat, cutthroat. Th these are all cutthroats. I, this guy's a cutthroat too. Ah. Uh. No. Yeah, I mean this makes sense. I feel bad for leaving the cross crossbow, but damn, I might have to. What are the abilities? Patient, Inspiration, Steadfast, Roar. It actually works better with a <laughs> with a bow, even with the roar.
Can I get away with this? If I can get away with this, this is better. If I... This is fine. I think we're gonna give it a shot. We're leaving the crossbow here. I just continue without it. Yeah. We're not gaining cards. Helping hand. Provisions. Alright. Let's try that. Uh, second win is always okay. It's not great. Again, uh, armor equal to the total armor of the adjacent uh, characters on rank. Uh, that seems like a good ability. But I think more draw is the way to go. Game one bigger. Alright, let's go for more draw. Okay, well, I suppose we can go for a combat or hide. Uh, what about our positioning? So we got the bear. In the back, with two guys that need to be healed. Right? Am I correct? Not 1% correct. He's a bowman now. So he's using bows, plus has a superior heavy armor. Same thing. Uh, give me a chance here. So next up, we got this in the back. S stock plus superior heavy armor. So this is like a 40 armor. So it's good to have on the front row. Superior heavy armor. It's okay. Seems like it's okay. I'll make changes if I see the need uh, for it. Okay. Who does the most damage? It's gotta be the ship right in the back. Also now, uh, Cartwright has the great sword. Mm, it's a good question. I mean, we do have a lot of uh, willpower here. I can get away with wasting it a little bit. charge yeah I have a lot of miasma so let's try miasma then another miasma then another miasma so now the bear is going to do the setup what we have here that's annoying We can kill this uh, dog, oh, that would be nice. Okay. They have the same type, right? Oh, this has the same type too. 
That's fine. Okay, let's go for more draws. Overbearing hit. Yeah, he's taking six uh, damage over time. Still has a lot of uh, stamina left. Vulnerable, but he's not dead. Okay, we can uh, use the expert bow. Twenty six. It's not a kill. I don't have any more draws. So I gotta be a bit more careful. Try to kill the bunny. I definitely wanna use... Uh, I called Irving. This round, so let's do it. Okay, never mind. That was a kill. He's dead. But this guy's not dead. Mm. I can just hit the doggy. Oh crap. We suffered some damage. Retaliation. Okay, fine. So we gotta be careful. Not to hit them right now. Let's go for guard on dress support. The amount of poison they get is just ridiculous. Okay. I can do a false opening. I would also like to use a roar, I guess. It would be best to hit the wolves once. Yeah, let's roar on the night. Where's the bow? Yeah, someone with armor should uh, go for this hit. Maybe a uh, vanguard. It's fine. Okay, we need a big hit here. That's twenty. No, 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 not not uh, attrition. That's for sure. Yeah. We took back fifteen damage. What the fuck? That's way too much. He's taking 19 damage, but that's still a lot. Twenty damage. Oh yeah, 
Uh, this is what I should pay attention to, the retaliation number. Okay. So time to kill the big boy if you can. Probably we can't. Should have waited for the bleed. It would have made it a little bit more effective. Okay, fine. Bludgeon is fine. Okay, let's go for that. I don't need to withdraw. We simply need to kill the crossbowman. Okay, we got the heal. We we're definitely using that. After this, it's just super easy. Strange mist. Removing bleed. Okay. Let's heal up. They have the same amount of health missing. Uh, let's heal Tress of Fort. Miasma seems OP. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. But it also has like a delay. It's, it's not bad for 3 points, right? Miasma number two. Oh, he's almost dead. Hmm. Attrition seems good. <gasps> the Astok would be pretty sick too. Oh my god. Maybe do a flanking strike, but that's it's just too strong. Twenty forty one. Ah, screw it. I think he's ordered that. We can also go for a uh, whirlwind. I think this is fine. And an S stock. Uh, it doesn't matter. He's dead! Game card. Reckless 8. Apply 15 to an ally. Active character and the ally both gain a winded. I don't want that. I guess this is fine. I don't know. I don't want that. Solid footing is okay, but... And I know I have worse cards than that, but I don't want to have a totally bricked hand. Or I don't want my guys standing around pacified. So I'm just going to choose nothing and move on. I think we are closing in on the end. Well, in 13 turns. Large crowd, so that's blocked. Minus 100 Florence, or just nothing happens. I'll take the nothing happens. Okay, well, go for a combat. Shipwright should be healed up. I guess we are planning to heal up Rosser, uh, Ruffer's Mott. And after that, we're probably gonna go in the back and start healing up uh, Shipwright. For now, I think the positioning is fine. There's a lot to do in this game. 
One for sure. I, I didn't foresee this. At the start, it was it was like, you know, just like, hey, just play some uh, like uh, one skill here, one skill there. But then, bam. It ramps up. It really ramps up. It's like playing six uh, Slate Aspires at the same time. Okay, let's see. Um, we can afford using that. Oh, it would be even better if we for a finishing blow on the wolf. I just go for an armor. Okay, can we punish the back? <laughs> this this charge is also ridiculous. Okay. Doing a miasma. Well, miasma later is complete garbage. So it needs to be miasma early. Or nothing. We can do second wind. Okay. I should probably start playing some cards. Um, maybe guard. Coordination. Okay, fine. Uh, we can play a setup. I just have so many cards. Got three dogs. Two rabbits. Okay, he has a retaliation. Which is a little bullshit. Things done by one each turn, so we gotta be damn careful. Uh, who has this? Okay, we can go for a rake in the back. It's not the best. I probably need to go for a Sadie's Cunning. Uh... Some, but sometime soon. Rush. Okay, we can do a Warhammer Strike. Oh, crap. Maybe I overdone it. Oh, uh, 13 damage. This is fine, right? He's vulnerable. Okay. Uh, Sadie's Cunning. Uh, not the right guy. It'll give us a lot of draws. Maybe we can apply even more Miasmas. So, let's go for the Miasma. Let's go for even more Miasmas. So, the dog is dead. Great sword. I still have a lot of stamina. So, I shouldn't be super concerned. We can just go for a great sword swing in the, in the back. I need to be somewhat concerned with this guy, who has Retaliation. I'm actually tempted to go and uh, kill him uh, with the Rush right now. I mean, definitely, we don't want to do a Nutrition. On the uh, Ender Spearman. Overbearing Sphinx seems like uh, such an obvious choice. But the retaliation will be ridiculous. Okay, we're gonna rush down this guy. It's too messy. Okay. 
Okay, we can keep going for an overbearing swing. Okay, never mind that. Who has the attrition? Oh, never mind. We don't have any more stamina. A card that I actually can't play. What the fuck? I thought that was in the past. I want to play all my cards instantly as I get them. Oh boy. I guess I'm using a the bow. Do a flanking strike. Alright. Can't hurt. Only turn five, the miasma starts uh, really working. You just need to kill the knight. Oh, uh, everything else is ordered dead. <laughs> this charge is ridiculous. Okay. Let's do a roar. Mm. Can do second wind. Miasma. Sure. Let's do more miasmas. And make this guy vulnerable. What's going on here? Why are we taking damage? Whenever a character draws a card, they suffer one damage and one bleed for every stack of uh, marked. But they're not marked. Hmm. Okay, we cannot kill the knight right now. Or can we? Let's do a vanguard. He's vulnerable and... Okay, fine. He might just die. Flanking strike. That was a little weak. Come on, use the bows. Let's go for some armor. Maybe we can even make a, a switch here. Yeah, that didn't work out so well. Now oh, I'm gonna be wasting some poison. It would be really funny if the the, the crossbow guy would have died. <laughs> oh my god! Just just wait. Can we just kill the a crossbow guy with doing nothing? Just full HP, die from poison. Oh my god, I'm taking bleed damage in the back. It's annoying. Can we heal the guys in the back? Yes, we can! Wait, oh, really? That's amazing. Kinda seemed like that was not possible. So I guess there's really not much to do here. But then maybe do a heavy blow and watch him die from poison. Uh, maybe do a sharpened. Maybe the poison will take too long. Oh, whatever. Just end turn. Okay. Get some money and the card. Deal 5 damage to armor. For every 3 stacks of vulnerable on the opponent, deal an additional 15 damage to armor. But that's only good for armor, so I, I, I say no. And we're gonna move on.
discard the random combat. Well, sure. Is this like a harder combat? If anything, I would rather not get hit. <laughs> the best fight is the one that I don't get hit in. Yeah, I know. We're gonna get into a fight. Okay. I'll just go and uh, play it safe. I suppose I would like a little bit more level. Uh, a little bit higher level, but ultimately it's fine. Uh, let's just do Miasma. Rush doesn't really matter. Yeah, I don't like these doggies. Yeah, that's annoying. It's more than annoying. Okay, random plague. Why not just take random damage? I do like the heal. If I if I get offered another heal, I will probably pick it up. What do you have? Zone of control. Okay. I don't care about that. So we can do a rake on the guys in the back. If they have bleed. So might as well just give them bleed, right? Then that way they're gonna have another status effect on them. So we can do flurry. So that is bleed and vulnerable. Let's do rake in the back. They're all crippled. Now we can just do a setup. Maybe I could have done that earlier. A yeah, great sword is a pretty decent choice here. Okay, five status effects. Can I get more? Uh, it doesn't seem like it. But I need to uh, use up some cards. We know that. So I'm gonna prioritize. Okay, let's see who gets hit. I don't like that at all. Okay, this crossbowman needs to die. The bottom one will be targeted. But I'm still going to use a guard. And we're going to use a sharpened steel. And this is a good time to use the Sadie's Cunning. So let's do second wind. Uh, okay. We don't have enough. Unfortunately... Heavy blow. We can just hit this row. I think he reached the top already. I, I don't think it can go over 30. Because that's the second time, or not the first time, I, I see him at 30 and it's not going anywhere. Oh fuck. No, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to do an overbearing swing. It didn't work. Oh, it's only if you have a two-handed weapon. Oh, fuck. 
Oh, that was a waste. damage. Oh, we can just do a coordination, I suppose. So he's dead now. The guy in the middle is still annoying. Okay, that's fine. I guess I would rather work on the doggy at the bottom. Can we just make a swap? What? Okay, I need to read that card <laughs> because apparently it's not working the way I, I want to. Want it to. Okay, let's go for more Miasma. Now, this is at least three cards. Do I want to use a uh, Persecution? I can do uh, 16 damage with Persecution. Let's do second win. Okay, this is 12 heal. Uh, Trust support is the one who needs it the most. Okay. Let's do persecuted. Okay. He could deal a crap ton of damage. So, I should probably... Use it. Four times three. Yeah, it's gonna be higher than that. I can just draw a crap ton of cards. Okay, well, we have uh, four status effects. Can I get more? It doesn't seem like it. If I do the Sadist Cunning, then we won't be able to use the s -talk. But I think it's worth it. No mercy sucks. Thirteen. He's not dead yet. Yeah, that is a kill. He's already taking 20 damage. Okay, then. Now 22 damage. Twenty four damage, fine. Uh, we can just use the Vanguard. Miasma. Can I play that? I can actually still play that. How ridiculous. Can I kill the last guy? It's 15 ish damage. They all get hit for 12. So doing solid footing would be nice. We can also do a galvanize. Uh, actually, no. We don't have any armor. I just hit the guy in the back. Okay, that's all. Yeah, 
Yeah, we have a slight lead. Not the worst, though. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I don't know if Miasma is OP. <laughs> but it definitely gets stronger. It's, it's a good way to win a uh, long fight. It does seem okay. Especially with my strat. Just draw a crap ton of cards. So the guy in the back is taking 32 damage already. The guy in the front is taking 36 damage. Still an overbearing swing. I kind of want to kill them, so I guess we won't wait for the miasma. Yeah, that's the great sword. Sharpen steel and uh, maybe rake. Money! Gain cards and no, I reject that. Gain armor equal to the to total armor of the agents and uh, characters on the rank. That seems okay. I think I might just take one of these. Okay, let's go for protection. Oh, one character leveled up, but who? I never know which one leveled up. Wait. Okay, this is the one. Max level. Oh, 8 is the max level? It kind of seems like that's not the case. Really? Max level? Okay, let's see what we get. What? <laughs> Should I pick another Miasma? I mean, the the heal is pretty okay. I don't know. Let's let's back out of this. I, I said I wanted another heal, and I and I meant it. So we're gonna go and pick up another heal, not the Miasma. It does. I don't know. Let's go for seven free. I think. S I don't know which one we need more. Let's go for seven free. Max level is for. Oh, I, I guess six thousand is the max level. So maybe I should uh, aim to reach the max level with everybody. And what about our armor? So it seems like it doesn't matter too much. Uh, who's where? Except the fact that the bear should be in the front row because he has a uh, armor that always goes up. How oh, am I? Yeah, the bear is in the front row. That's good. The hidden plates. So he should be in the front row. He's max level and in the front row. Okay. And the bear should be in the front row. Who else is in the front row? Some of with superior heavy armor. Could be okay. Like he could be in the front row. We have this guy over there. I mean, we can make this swap. I think it might be slightly better. It doesn't matter too much. One for sure, he sucks. <laughs> uh, his armor is pretty bad. So let's just uh, go like this. Combat unavoidable. And in nine turns, we'll see what is the conclusion of this game. I'm definitely gonna uh, go there now. Okay, roar. Elder Knight, I don't really care. Can I kill this wolf? I have 20... 
it could be possible. Wait. We definitely can't kill the other knight. If I want to use status, if I want to use the Sadie's Cunning, no, no, actually, never mind that. We can do Expert Bow on Rapid Fire. So now we have two statuses. I don't think we can do more than that. Okay. can do an overbearing swing and a heavy blow. Mm, heavy blow is decent. Okay. And we can just uh, use one arrow, I suppose. Okay, one less doggy. I wouldn't mind uh, focusing on the other doggy, but it's probably not gonna happen. Okay, stubby, stubby, stubby. Took some damage. Okay, my asthma. Sure. So let's do my asthma. More my asthma. I don't have a lot of draws, only the second vent. So, three dogs and two bunnies. Uh, okay. Let's hit the dogs. This dog might just die. I definitely want to kill the, the dog in the back. We can just go for overbearing, a swing. This uh, flanking strike is definitely uh, a little lame, but even right now I'm, I'm a little bit struggling just to have a good card, so I guess it's still okay. It's only 12 damage. Seven. The problem is even 17 doesn't do it. We need more than that. Oh, okay, never mind that. I'll just kill it. So now we can go after the bunny. Let's go with a random flanking strike. Seems like I have enough heal. I just want the Dogo to die in the front. Oh, can you just take enough poison damage, Dogo? He has currently nine dots on him. Not not the worst. Okay. Let's 
do false opening. We can go for protection. But that only... Well, truly only makes sense. Do miasma. If we move around a little bit. Not too bad, though. I can still go for protection and get uh, 16 armor. It's already 12 damage. So the dog Dogu is dead. What about the knight? He's going for a big hit. 10 damage. Uh, what am I doing? Okay. Range missed. Use that. If I can kill the Elder Knight, that would be the best. How do we do that? Uh, we might as well start with the Warhammer. Make him vulnerable. Uh, make him bleed. So he has five status effects on him. I guess we can punish him a little bit for it. Most importantly, we need to use us say this cunning. Oh, that was actually... Ah, well, it was fine. Not great, but fine, I suppose. Okay, we can do a whirlwind. Is there a way to make this guy even weaker? Nah, I don't think so. We can do a flanking strike. Then a whirlwind. Oh, okay. 18 damage apiece. Okay, he's gonna take 24 uh, dot damage. I think it's probably the best approach. To start killing the stronger crossbowman in the back. Mm, just go for a guard. Don't move around. Oh, look at that! Everybody's patient! They're drawing extra cards. Thirty-five damage over time. It would be nice to speed up the animation, though. I don't really mind it as much right now, but... I can already tell that it would be a... Uh, Pretty important uh, thing, eventually. Okay, well, 50. Okay, let's go for a rush. And uh, let's go for a sharpened steel. And a great sword. So, only 82 Florence. That's not the best. The setup is always nice. I don't care about that. Okay, let's go for setup. Hesitation? On expiring. Okay, let's go for Hesitation. I don't want to take 5 damage. I can buy cards. Off-duty guards. Uh, when it expires, uh, it spawns uh, drunken guards. That could be nice. I'll just see what's on the uh, menu here. Deal 5 damage, apply to uh, Vulnerable and uh, Von Bleed. That's bad. That's bad too. Deal free damage x times for each stack of bleed on the target. 
Really? I do bleed the guys a lot. So it could be like 30 damage, but it's more like a finisher. I, I, I would better just go with the deal weapon damage, apply 4 bleed. I mean, this is good. Is this something I want? I think by the time they are bleeding by a lot, it's already a little bit pointless to have this. And if I have it any other time, it's just not really worth playing. It's just It would be just uh, awkward to have in the hand. So we're going to go with uh, something basic here, sharpened steel. Everything else is just like, eh, whatever. Mainly because I, I keep overloading my hand. Because... There's just no not a good way to get rid of cards. So I still have the garbage cards from the start. So my best approach is just to overload it. Just try to dilute, dilute the trash cards with okay cards. Fatalism. Party takes 15 damage. I don't want that. Weapon cash? I'd rather go for... I don't know. Do I want the weapon cash? I think I'm already pretty good with weapons. I can go for Florence. I don't want to go there. I guess I can get some Florence. I mean, what would I do with Florence? So, heal the party by 50%. I don't even care. But do I care more about combat? That would best give me a, a card. Maybe some XP. I guess we're getting closer to level ups. Yeah. Irving getting closer to level up. Uh, Burrows and Ruffus Mod somewhat getting closer to level up. Oh, actually, a shipwright is pretty close to level up. So let's just combat. Any damage? Oh, good. I don't like that. Okay. Can't wait to get hit. At least I got some heals. Let's do Miasma. Uh, who has the heals? Okay. Okay, just give it heals. Oh. Rage. The back row is, is mad as hell. I like that. Rightfully so. Now uh, we can just go for a second vent. Uh, maybe a new mercy. So what do we do? I can just try to kill the Ender uh, Clipper. Or just go for a setup. Right? On the Ender Clipper. Oh my god. <laughs> Do say this cunning? What the fuck? <laughs> this is gonna be a crazy round. I think we wanna rake. Does it matter that they are they are bleeding? I think it matters a little bit. So let's make sure that they are bleeding. Then we're gonna rake. So he's bleeding. He's vulnerable. There's nothing else I can apply to it.
I can just do an attrition. I don't want it to die. Please. Did I mess up? Okay, I didn't mess up. Okay, give me some extra cards. Okay, let's go after the crossbowman. Actually, the other crossbowman is more dangerous. galvanizing thing. Oh, it's it's a bit late for that, mate. Okay, let's do coordination. And well, we can do the vanguard. I would like to draw here. Still fine. We can draw five cards. I guess Irving can kill anybody. This applies vulnerability. So you can just uh, do sharp, sharp and steel for free. Twenty six. Oh, he's not dead yet. He's gonna die to the damage over time effects. So, okay. 15. Uh, we can go in for a heavy blow. Rage. Sure. Okay, who has the bow? It would be nice to kill the entire back row. I'll uh, just do rapid fire. Okay, he's gonna die to the uh, damage over time. I guess we can apply uh, some armor. The rest is fine. Wait. Oh, okay. We can't do anything else anymore. The back row is dead! We have time for more miasma. Okay. So who wants to get healed? Ten heal. Yeah, let's go for that. Looks a little bad. Okay, the Wolfie, the bottom dies. Savage Cleave. 
I don't like that. Unfortunately, we are getting hit. Let's do protection. Okay, the best we could do. It's close though. Next round, they are dead. A little bleed. We'll survive. <laughs> On turn 7, Miasma is pretty damn strong. The reason I picked Miasma, I mean, it looked look good, but... I mean, I suspect uh, the, the boss fight is gonna be a really tough fight. And as long as we can stall for a longer time, we're gonna be good. Thunder is crap, that's crap too. I'm not a huge fan of solid footing. We're just not gonna accept any of these. Two characters leveled up, but the game doesn't tell me which ones. Okay, so he leveled up. Gain 5 rage when an ally dies. Hopefully that's never gonna happen. Less than 5. 30% uh, vitality. That's not something I'm looking forward to either. If the character has more than 75% vitality, they gain more stamina. The problem with that is that uh, stamina, I mean, we can just go for easy stamina. Hey guys, love the haircut. Thanks. I don't want an ally to die and I don't want to have low HP, but I guess in that case, if an ally does die, then he's going to be, like, ridiculously strong. So, we're going to go for Rage here. Just in case one of us does die, that fight will be won for sure. Okay, let's go with 7-2. And uh, let's see what else we can do. He has Ardent. He's not going to be moving around. Everyone on this character's rank starts with uh, one vigor. That's pretty much garbage. I think we're going to go for Vengeful here as well. Yeah, we're not moving people around, so we're going to go for Vengeful. And we're going to go for Stamina. I think that's it. I'm serious, Lo. I shaved uh, most of my hair uh, this summer as well. Uh, I don't like having a uh, long hair in the summer. Yeah. <laughs> also, it's mandatory for the Assassin's Guild. How are you doing? I'm fine. Oh. So it seems like a one run in this game is pretty damn long. It's over four hours all at the end. And we are like five turns away from finishing. Chance for the riches. Okay, let's, let's go for the guarded transport. Fight elite combat or just leave. I don't want an elite combat. Call me puss if you must, but we're running away from elite combat. There's a good chance we uh, take damage if you do that. So, let's just go for a draw. I would like to kill... Maybe the top dog. Can I do a second wind? Maybe 
Maybe the top dog can be killed. Mm, we can do a rake. Okay, he's gonna die. And this means probably the bear should get stronger. And we're gonna give a guard to Irving as well. You look like the best friend I had in high school, by the way. How old you were when you went to high school? <laughs> was it was it like one of those uh American uh, high schools in movies, where everyone is 30 years old. The usual age. Okay. So we need to take care of the dog in the back. I guess I want to go for a draw. You don't look pretty? Late 20s or s something? I'm 25 and look 15 in comparison to Adam. <laughs> okay. You're saying I look very old? You're saying I look at least 35 or something? And we can go for an overbearing swing in the middle. That's a death. This guy has a lot of statuses. Flanking strike. He does have the galvanize. Oh, maybe we gotta do that. Expert bow. Okay. Is that the guy? Wait, can we can we make him bleed? Oh no, he's immune to bleed. As long as he has armor, okay. At least uh, high armor. Let's go for attrition. That's fine. I turned 28 uh, a couple weeks ago, soon 30. I feel old. Isn't that a bit weird just to like uh, go uh, into online multiplayer games and go with randoms and you know, and it's kind of hard to relate. Also, the big problem is that I, I try to play some FPS games. You don't look old, 30 isn't old. Yeah. Uh, I think you get a little slower, or at least I got a little slower. So I'm not lo no longer an FPS champion, even less so than I was before. I haven't really achieved much in my life after finishing high school law, at least in getting my bachelor's in law next year. Better late than never. Well done. I mean, yeah. Exactly. I mean, I kind of have the same thinking. Like, just, just never stop learning. You, you don't necessarily have to do it in school. Congratulations for sure. I mean, if it if it uh, eases your soul, I I'll tell you that when I went to school first, I just flunked out because I didn't take it seriously, and also I, I just didn't understand myself. You know, I was a little sad. 
and uh, I didn't understand how, how I was learning. I, I was actually, uh, when I was younger, I was uh, diagnosed with some level of dyslexia, and I just don't really like reading that much. So, I mean, a school was just, just reading stuff. I was like, oh my god, it was my hell. So, I kind of like uh, adjusted a little bit. I just prefer videos, maybe just doing stuff on my own, so... Okay, what are we doing here? Uh, we need to kill the guys in the front. This doggy is the most concerning uh, one for sure. I guess that's not even the the biggest problem. My biggest problem is that sometimes I just you know I, I just get I just get bored easily, so I, I just needed to work with that. Thanks, man. I already spent four years studying. Last year left, and most likely it's gonna be uh, remote studies. Oh, yeah. Do you like it? It definitely pays pays really well, but. And if you like it too, then that, that's going to be a sweet combo. Okay, we... Rush is decent. Yeah, let's just go for second win. There's just so many choices to make in this game, it's ridiculous. I kind of want to kill the dog in the, in the front. Uh, let's do a rush. Okay, the dog is down. Uh, we can draw five cards. Sharpen steel. So now we can bleed it. Yeah, I love it. My field specialty is uh, pre court investigation of criminal act studies. I've always been a huge fan of true crime. Damn. That's great. I'm happy for you. Maybe I should make you a moderator. You gotta catch these criminals in chat. Can I make you a moderator? <laughs> I don't know how to make you a moderator. Fuck. <laughs> oh, mod god lazen. Oh, no. Mod. Perfect. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just something dumb. But but I was damn serious. <clears throat> Even when uh, when I was first time around was in but in college, I, I, I saw a lot of guys and uh like people just went back and uh and they always took it more seriously. They they they, they had a different mindset and, and I kinda admired it. They weren't there just because they had no no idea what to do in life. They just like they went back to win. You're never gonna get me alive. Well, I guess uh, I cannot be a criminal in this life. <laughs> First time what on Twitch? <laughs> now I can bomb Reaver party and make this a uh, <laughs> man show. <laughs> oh my god! Don't do it though. I have some learning to do now. I I hope you're not talking about the mod responsibilities. Don't know what to say. Thanks for been following for you you for years. I'm I'm really happy for you. I have I know nothing about law, but I'm really happy for you. So I don't know what to say other than that. <laughs> I'm at B for a second. No. <laughs> okay, uh, just uh, wait. We want to kill the, the 
doggy. I guess I can heal 2 HP. That's fine. Taking over 50 dot damage, that's gonna be, uh, it's gonna hurt. I, I, I still believe that this game is probably, uh, kind of like Slay the Spire, so I don't think it's gonna go, go on for much longer than this. Okay, well, he's dead. We should be able to kill them. Yeah, let's do a Esto kit. And then we're gonna do a heavy blow. Ah, it's not good enough. Overbearing blow. It's a kill! Game cards! I don't know. Let's go back. They all suck. <laughs> okay, let's go with combat. We're almost at the end. I didn't realize that it's gonna take so long. Oh my god. But at this point, I feel... Uh, Feel like I we have to finish. Roar. Okay, try to kill the the wolf. Trying to kill the bunny here. Okay. I can do vanguard. Overbearing swing. He's almost dead. And we can just do attrition. And go after the other doggy. Alright, that's it. Suppose we're gonna need some heals. Adamin means a lot. I appreciate it. Everything you said. I was actually accepted into university after finishing high school, but I dropped out because I just didn't take the studying seriously. So after all that, I just uh, took a break from studying. I started working regularly as a security guard. And then I just uh, kept switching workplaces all the time. After a few years, I joined uh, the university again. Another faculty. Faculty. And uh, just uh, kept going. It's uh, five years in total. And that's a lot of bachelors. Yeah. Um, thanks for sharing. Damn. Again, I don't know what to say. I mean, I'm, I'm proud of you. If that means anything. Not everyone finishes... Uh, college and but most of all I mean, not everyone just loves it I'm mean, just a lot of people if you, you probably experienced this just a lot of people do it because you know they just they just don't know what else to do and uh, 
what I'm the happiest about is that you're, you're really into it. Because first I was doing it, I was like, you know, I like computers, so I guess this is the... We gotta mess around with computers here. I mean, that that was basically my justification for uh, doing computer science, so... <laughs> yeah, that wasn't the best. Maybe that was the reason I was... My heart wasn't that in it that, that much. But this is really not about me. Okay, uh, back to the game, I guess. I have a bunch of uh, group mates who just want to get the paper after finishing, that's it. The diploma? Yeah, but they do, do plan to use it, right? <laughs> Not just get the paper. Yeah, but not as lawyers? As what? They want to get a sitting job, that's what they told me at least. In some office. So, consult people, just... Just inform people about the law. And but not practice as lawyers. It's, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Assistants, administrators, etc. Okay, we gotta kill the back row. It's much easier uh, to land those kind of jobs with a degree in law, especially in Lithuania. Unfortunately, I don't know too much about law. <laughs> to say too much about it. We need to draw. Okay. Hopefully it's fine. Let's go for six heal. <clears throat> do you plan on practicing in Lithuania? Or do you plan on moving away? At least uh, where I'm from, people like to move away just for the money. But I do understand that, and it's obvious you can be successful without any degree at all, if you work hard enough. If you're smart with your life choices, and ultimately if you're lucky. I've come to believe that it's more hard work than luck. I think I'll stay here. Mm. Can we kill the other knight? Yeah, let's do Warhammer. 
Green sword. Can do second wind. Do flurry. Since I, all I know is Lithuanian law and practices, my degree would be pretty much useless in the States, for example, unless I landed a job as law enforcement officer or something which wouldn't be an option. Ah, oh, I haven't even considered that too much. You're, you're damn right. Law does change quite a lot. Uh, is in the country. Turn. Did that. Yeah, let's go for heavy blow. And moving away is definitely a mixed bag. So it's not like, oh my god, you move away for the money, but like, okay, then you don't know anybody. I, I suppose you could you could like that, but at the same time, you're also just leaving everyone behind. So I'm not sure I'm, why I'm exactly talking about it, but still. I mean, the mod window, overwhelmed. <laughs> Don't think about it. The best mods, the best mods only intervene when they absolutely have to. Not just, not just boss people around. Okay, and we got max level here. Let's do quick thinking. Six thousand. They all level sevens. I always wanted to get out of my country, by the way. Such thinking is common in Eastern Europe. Yeah, it is. That, that's kind of why I asked it. What? What else am I doing? Can I level up too? Or what's going on here? Um, Do I care about another strange mist? I don't. I don't care. These suck. I think I'm gonna forfeit my choice. And, uh. <laughs> the best mods abuse their power? I don't think so. That seems. That seems wrong. Don't listen to him. He was gonna corrupt you. <laughs> I, I see, like, you can, you can go to another country. But it is really hard to not feel like a second-class citizen, because if you're in trouble, they're gonna be like, oh yeah, like, we're not gonna help you out, you know? And you, you gotta, like, work tw twice as hard. And even if you just do everything right, uh, you're probably not gonna get voting rights, if that it is something that you care about at all. But, you know, that's always gonna be, like, uh, a little bit of uh, something just to say, like, yeah, I mean, like, citizens are here, you're at best here. Just something to keep in mind. Also, people can be uh, just 
I, I suppose people can uh, just treat you as a second class citizen as well. It's not too bad. I mean, well, most people are like, yeah, just, you know, they might treat you as like a curiosity or maybe just totally welcoming. But, you know, it could be a mixed bag, you know, instead of just being like, you know, I'm in my own country. I'm, this is normal. But people just kind of have like a like a weird reaction, like I like you less because you're from somewhere else, or I like you more because you're some from somewhere else. Is like, okay, let's go reserves. That's good. It's usually like one percent fine. For example, in England. Are you getting citizenship, Adam? Uh, well, that wouldn't really... That can't even happen until, like, five years in. And uh, even if you get that, you're gonna get citizen... Well, you get permanent settlement, which would mean uh, you can live here uh, indefinitely, but, but not vote. And, yeah, that's it. Well, that's what I, what I wanted to say. I'm not sure. <laughs> Let's go enter hideout. For example, oh yeah, I know what I want to say. People sometimes think, like in England, people sometimes think that I'm from uh, the US, you know? I don't know. What about my accent, guys? Where would you guys think I'm from? <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. I, I suppose, like, my accent is more based on the American English, because um, that's mainly what I heard uh, in games and in movies, and that's just kind of what I picked up. People might just think like, oh yeah, he's, he's he's from America. American here. And uh, and uh, if they just uh, find out that I'm from Europe, I'm like, okay, like Europe is okay. But if I say like Eastern Europe, even though that's not correct, then they're just like, ooh, might be bad. So people could just act weird. Okay, let's go second wind. I don't want to generalize people, but, you know, people tend to have these, uh, hidden... I mean, not, not like, outright racist, but, you know, they could be... They could have some misgivings. Oh, right. You're there for only like two years or so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's right. Wait, is this the last fight? We're, we're fighting the warden here. You don't really sound uh, like the stereotypical Eastern European. I'm not. I'm from Centr uh, Central... Well, I'm from Hungary, so... Uh, technically, I... Uh, Central European. I guess maybe someone from uh, the States, yeah, since uh, they have done of uh, various different accents. I suppose I wouldn't necessarily sound German. The accent is different. Okay, well, we gotta think about this a little bit. Can I draw? I can't draw at all. I guess we can go for Drake. So two of them are crippled. I would like to kill the halberdiers if possible. Yeah, halberdiers need to die.
Okay, he's taking 13 damage. Let's do flanking strike. Maybe you can uh, make a switch here. Oh, that's not great. <sighs> Let's go, have a nice. We have nothing else. I sound uh, like American Eastern European mix uh, a little bit because some words I pronounce beautifully, but other words I cannot pronounce without tripping uh, off people, uh, tipping off people about my heritage. I don't necessarily want to like hide. Uh, my accent, I suppose. Honestly, I just mostly care about uh, pronunciation. So, I want people to understand me. Need some practicing? I'm not used to speaking to people in English. Yeah. I initially got my practice uh, when I was playing uh, multiplayer games online. And, uh, well... Everyone just speaks English online, even if even if you like, it doesn't matter where you're from. You know, you if you're in uh, Europe, you <laughs> you basically speak two languages online. Well, from what I could tell, you either speak English, which is normal, but <laughs> or you speak Russian, <laughs> because the Russians just don't care. The Russians just don't care. They are fucking bastards. I'm telling you, they always speak Russian. Fucking bastards. <laughs> they don't care at all. Hmm, that guy would be nice to kill. So I can deal almost like 120 damage. Okay, who can I heal? He can heal... Like that. Can heal on himself. Gonna take for 17 damage. Okay. Time to go for the sadist. Yeah, I learned uh, most of my English uh, playing online games or watching movies as well. When I was in high school, or even like uh, mostly high school, uh, the the teacher didn't even care if I didn't do homework or didn't do anything. <laughs> I was I was remember some some kind of a school English contest I won and like some it was I, I just didn't put I I made no effort at all. They just like had some other person show up who was uh taught by uh well I don't know. I, I guess he was uh um, I don't know. His knowledge didn't uh go go beyond uh what what he learned in, in uh, the classroom. Oh my god, that guy got smacked so hard. And I got like a, a some kind of a... <laughs> I don't know. Some kind of a medal for that. It's like, oh yeah. That was totally pointless, you know? That was just uh, the school to just like have this dumb dumb shit. Like, oh yeah, look at look at, look at us. We, we can have like our own little uh, competitions. But that was like a school-wide competition. That's stupid. Like, if, if, I, if it was like, you know, city-wide or even like uh, country-wide, then yeah. I, I would have been just completely smacked. <laughs> I mean, that was just stupid. I don't know. It was just a funny story. I suppose it just kind of shows that if you really don't go past what you learned in the cast classroom, <clears throat> you're natural. If you don't go past what you learned in the classroom, then that's, that's just not gonna be good enough. For me, it wasn't really about me wanting to learn a language. I didn't care. I didn't care. It was just me, like, I need to know. There's stuff in English, I want it. I want it right now. I'm not gonna wait for translation. I suppose, first of all, I, I guess I was playing games. I was playing games, and, and I just I just wanted to play games. I, I, I needed to play the games, so, I mean, I, I had no choice. I had to learn English. There was, there was no other uh, possible...
Option I was willing to accept. <laughs> I don't think we can kill this Ender Knight. He's too tanky. I wouldn't say I'm a natural. <laughs> I was just exposed to it uh, quite a lot. What a tough fight. Yes. That's a lot of poison. Oh my god. The fights are so long. Do you guys play games? What, what kind of games do you guys play? If anything, I, was, I wasn't really playing games uh, too much uh, the last three months. Uh, but I, I felt like streaming and I thought like, you know, this would be great. You know, new card game just came out. Why not? Knight will die. Uh, can I apply more statuses on this uh, Wolfie Man? Kind of, but I need to. Okay, let's go second vent. Okay, I want to use that miasma. Then do setup. It's gonna take 31 dot damage. Okay. Let's do setup. Another setup. Wow. Okay, false opening. I guess I can set up again. The amount of cards you have to play in one round is just ridiculous. Wait. 32, 5. Now we can do a heavy blow. My GPU died, so no games for me this summer. I haven't played anything for two months. I'm mainly working out and preparing my bachelor's work. Back when my GPU worked, I used to play uh, Dead by a Daylight, Star Wars Battlefront 2 regularly. My GPU died after nearly five years of constant usage. I mean, at that point, you can say like, that's fair enough. Is it good? I think that's fair enough. After five years, it's fair enough. I say. Five years of value is fair enough. I tend to aim for at least three. If it dies be be below three, a laptop GPU, and then it might be even better. I'm not not really sure, but with laptops, you know, things tend to go wrong more often, or unless it's a really high quality laptop, I suppose. Is it possible to replace the GPU in the laptop? It must be, right? It must be. I'm not sure. I don't tend to have uh, laptops of gaming. Oh yeah, my GPU kept overheating all the time. No, it's integrated, fused with the motherboard. Ugh. But is it like, is it like, super not possible? I need a new motherboard. <gasps> is it is it is it possible to just uh, hack it? To somehow somehow make it possible. There are some uh, YouTube videos. That make everything possible. Yeah, let's just draw some cards. There are certain ways, soldering the chipset. Mm, yeah. But it might not be worth it. Using heat gun. 
Now, to be fair, I, I'm, I don't f feel super comfortable uh, doing that myself, so... Okay, this guy's almost dead. Can I draw more cards? Yes, I can draw more cards, okay. Let's go for guard. Oh, we can even go go for even more card draw. We can do reserves. I just built my my first PC yesterday, by the way. Good job! Is it is it is it kick ass? Probably have to make a few changes to my PC. Uh, well, eventually. The thing is, I I don't care too much about uh, like playing the the latest and greatest necessarily. I usually just when I when I build a PC, I just I just have it to the point where you know, like, I it cannot even run games on low. Then I start considering upgrades. I just go from like good value for the money and. Go with it until it just cannot even run games anymore, kind of, <laughs> or like at least the new games anymore that I care about, which is uh, a important distinction because there are always just like crazy, crazy uh, games coming out. Okay, I, I guess I'll just draw more cards. I visited a PC repair shop regarding that question. They suggested me not to do anything since there's a possibility of my whole motherboard frying. Yeah. I'm unfortunately a little distrusting of uh, PC shops. My very limited experience with them is that they just always want to sell me stuff and not fix my problem. A little sad. Okay, he's dead. AM AMD Ryzen 3700X GTX 1660 Super. Yeah, that's gonna be pretty good for at least like three years. It's definitely gonna be good for Cyberpunk. I would always pick an AMD CPU over Intel. Wait, did we do it? You won? Uh, 26 combat encounters. You won two elite combat encounters. Okay. Streets completed. A lot of them. You finished with 52 cards in your deck. You lost zero party members along the way. And you finished with uh, 2,000 florins. 805. The fuck is that? I, I guess we got 805, boys. That's it. And it's not even enough for the next year. Is that, is that it? Return to main menu? I guess this is early access, so... It was a good run. I had fun. And they're just gonna up it from here. I mean, I already had a crazy amount of fun. I mean, when, when it comes to the gameplay... It was really good. It was really, really good. Uh, it was complained uh, about that maybe, maybe some story would be nice. You know, like, who are these guys who are going to kill this warden guy? We don't know. But, yeah, I had fun. The gameplay is, is good. I would add in a like a uh, like animation uh, speed up feature, like double or triple, that would help. But other than that, it's a good game. That was quite the spect <laughs> spectacular ending. I guess it's early access. Like it was not a consideration. Like if they have to uh, prioritize something, they definitely prioritize the right thing. <laughs> so I say it. the gameplay was okay. So 